I got it. it looks like we have all, all the same attendees that we had uh, uh, at the last meeting, which is every, everybody, including the press. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the approval of the meeting minutes, um, they were approved by email. Uh, th there is one thing in the uh, in the minutes about uh, the uh, Jason Temple going out and seeing the 60 Quago Way. Do we know if that's been done? Uh, about the wall that's being built on right away property? It's the one we were going to do by email. What was the address part. again? Uh, 60, Pe 60 South Pago Way. This had a uh, this has an existing stone wall in the right of way. Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh, you know he hasn't gotten back to me. Right? And the storm drainage goes on the property side of the wall, not on the right of way side of the wall. Yeah. They want to replace the wall because it's crumbling. So we uh, we told them they need to put in a uh, retaining wall in accordance with what was in the previous documents since we've <laughs> gone back to other documents. Yeah, they were basically rebuilding in the same location yeah. as it was originally. And we had no there problem with that. We just wanted to know if Jason had a problem with it for two reasons. Number one, it's in the right-of-way property. And number two, it's so close to utilities that in the process of, of putting in a new retaining wall, we don't know what kind of damage they might do to existing public utilities. Or how close they are to the wall. Yeah, I see. They're visit, already in the right of way. Right. I, I did visit with him about that, I, and, and honestly, he has not gotten back to me. So I will I will follow up with him first thing this morning so that we can get back to those people today. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And we we have no guests. However, we will be on Zoom, right? For the the meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, the. Uh, Vice Chair report um, under other sections, new business and old business, etc. We'll handle the grinder tank as you wanted to mention, uh, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do that afterwards. Uh, in case anybody uh, doesn't know, George Parker has resigned. So I just thought I'd mention that in case anybody didn't know. Um, He's a good oh. man. Excuse me? He's a good man. Yeah. That's what, he sounded pretty good to me, although uh, some people don't feel that way. But he sounded pretty good to me. Um, but he just may not be able to, to handle, handle it. Um, as far as the uh, new members' assignments that we discussed, we'll discuss that on the new business, but that's probably uh, out of it. Uh, assigning projects to, new, to the new members. The, uh, one of the items I'm noticing, and it might be a result of the coronavirus and the fact that we're just stringing along, is um, I'm getting a lot of ap applications that don't even have stamps on them. I don't know if they're paid for or not, and, and under the old regime, so to speak, if we didn't have a stamp on it, we weren't even supposed to work on it. Well, we have a couple. We have a new person in the office. She may not be stamping things the same way, but we're also getting quite a bit via mail and um, from the um, the website. So well, if, you if, get, if you're getting them from mail, are they being paid? Yeah. So here's the thing: Dan, we would never put something in your Dropbox to review if we haven't already collected the monies. So you're saying it's just a matter of somebody forgot to put a stamp on it? Yeah, I'll talk to them about what. We're not at the office too. Yeah. What the stamp is. It's just okay. So this is a result of the fact that we're yes. bending the rules for the coronavirus well, problem. Okay. Yeah, not so much bending. I mean, we're collecting money. You're, we're getting the money. It's not being it's not being submitted for review unless we have got all the documentation we need, including the payment. Which, which uh, brings up another question. Some of the uh, uh, and again, may, maybe this is not the time to discuss it, but I just thought I'd mention it since I'm giving this report. Um, uh, under the new covenants, I don't think some of these people necessarily need a permit. That's a question. And whether or not they should be returned their fees. So that's something that needs consideration. Yeah. Well, we're gonna because some of these we're going to just pass by and say, well, you don't need a requirement. It's not even mentioned in the covenants or 
or we have to decide if we're going to make it an item of the covenants. So this is going to be very, very complicated. Uh, yeah. But in any event, I just wanted to get it out on the table to keep in mind as we go along. May I have a question? Can I go back a minute? For George. Um, never mind. We, don't, we will not be replacement, correct? No, no. no. Thank you. Uh, and then we can just postpone officers and that kind of stuff until June. the June, the first meeting in June. Mm -hmm. That's the way I'll write it. Was the permitting, you said that the do not require permit, was permit the, the require, requirement for permits in the old protective covenants or is it a No, there's policy? things that are not, landscaping for example, there's no provision, so you don't right. need a landscaping permit anymore. We've been having landscaping permits, That's, but we don't need them anymore. There's things that this just doesn't cover, so. I believe, you, I believe, I don't know, I have to read it, but I thought you, you had to get a permit to do landscaping, it just it just wasn't required to do landscaping in it. But if you do landscaping, you have to get a permit, I thought. So here's Maybe here's I'm what happened, Tempers. Currently, yeah. There, when we had these documents in the past, we had a policy in place that dictated things like you had to have a landscaping permit. But when we adopted the, the new Protected Covenants 2018, we revoked the policy. So there's nothing that says anywhere that you have to have it now. There's, we have a gap in place at this moment. Okay. So we need to either reinstate the policy or as we amend the, the 2014 version of the covenants, include that language that was in the policy that gave us some of those authorities to do that work. Okay. Yeah, so right now we just we just are in a sort of a weird gap position. We did. Well, we the reason I'm confused is, yeah, okay, you had it in policies before that, that yep. you get a permit. Tree Correct. removal policies? Uh, we had a policy, and then we also had a good 50 pages of procedures that backed all of this up. But all of those procedures and policies were incorporated into the 2018 version, and we didn't take that into consideration when we um, rescinded that and adopted this back. So we just have a gap. So we need to, that's what we need to work on quickly is to close that gap so we have the rules in place to keep the same rules that we were using back in 14. We just don't have them anymore because they were incorporated into the new version. So, Stephanie, another housekeeping thing um, just for your office staff. I wasn't getting full packets. Like, yeah, me neither. You know, so I had to keep emailing saying, hey, is there a diagram of this deck that's going in? So I have a some sort of a schematic. Were those coming from them or? My fault. Yeah. I don't know. Because you're getting the full packet from them. And because I was, I, I, was, was I was printing off from what you gave me, yeah. and I did not have any diagram for a deck. And, and you're right. A, a few of them, especially the homeowner prepared, tend to be real sketchy. So, you know, I just had to get a hold of Beverly and say, hey. So everything we get, we put in this Dropbox file, and then Dwayne is taking what's in, for, in Dropbox and distributing it to you guys. So, yeah, we'll just have to... And, and these are operational things that we're going to have to get work our way through. I mean, uh, and, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think they're a matter of policy and problems. It's just an operational thing. Like, I got someone at half scale. Uh, they're, they're only shown on half the, 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 the page, and I, I can hardly read them. But uh, that's just an operational thing that we have to get worked out. We've got a new person in there and not a lot of access um, yeah. because of this pandemic business. Uh, we probably should just at some point stop and sort of reevaluate um, how information is being distributed among each other. Uh, we may be duplicating efforts where we don't need to be. So again, we're we're collecting it all. We're putting it in the Dropbox. We're sending it to Dwayne, Dan, or yeah, Dwayne, and then he's having to distribute it again. I mean, before Jack requested that that. Um, particular job, I guess, if you will, to take on that responsibility, we were just distributing everything. We could do that again and save a step. I mean, there's no reason for us to send it to you and you do it again. I mean, we could do it all at once. And it'd well, be I think the problem was simpler. that, you know, when before Jack took over, I was at the far west right. end, and then my next site visit was on El Cano with the far right. east end, and That's then right. I'm back over on the south That's side, right. and Jack was trying to cluster them a little bit better Which so was, we weren't spending yeah, hours on the road and we could cluster them too we should we could do that as well we can make sure that we're not 
sending you guys back yeah, But that to wasn't the only restaurant. reason. Jack wanted to have the control so he can set up the whole minute, minute meetings. He's, mm -hmm. he, he has access to every single one that's being well, going to be discussed and being distributed to different people. Uh, I don't know. I think it's it's best that it's done that way. Um, yeah, you're right. Before before Jack was doing that, we created the agenda and we distributed the cool. detail, and then and then you guys got your stuff. And Jack uh, wanted to create the own agenda and do all, so again. But is, is there a new hierarchy over, over there that's working on this? I mean, is Beverly still in charge? Uh, I mean, Beverly is. She's. I wouldn't say in charge necessarily, but she's run, she's run the office. <laughs> well, in handing out applications. Yes, there's a there's a gal at the front desk named Sarah that um, okay. she's kind of that front line person who's really talking to folks on the phone, working through the application, giving it to them, making sure that and then and then uh, making sure that everything that's sent back to us is complete. And then Beverly takes it and does the review of the application, sends it to me, sends Charlie. Wheel she on. does review every application. Should be, yeah. Okay. But I think this. I think that's the thing. She's new and she still has to get into the the flow of it. But uh, but if you guys are getting something incomplete, it's one. It's either it's either that you didn't yeah, get yeah, it on the Maybe it was a bit incomplete on the very first, and if if it got supplemented, I may not have caught it in the Dropbox. Well, we got I've, we've got applications here that don't even have an application sheet on them, and it's stamped on that's on the online. owner's email. That's an online. So yeah, that's all has to do with the fact that our office is closed and everything is a little bit not business as okay, usual. Okay, so it is a complication of the, it the, the, the It's an operational thing that we have to work out. Yeah, it's not something that's slipping correct in the in the procedure but if you or get, changing in the procedure. That's correct. But if you're getting something that is incomplete, don't wait until the meeting to tell me. Tell me ahead of time, and I'll get it for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, let me know right then, and I can I can correct it quickly. But if you wait until we're ready to review, it's, it's well, when you start to think about it, and you start to do any these things, the front sheet of the application really doesn't affect the work as much as the information that's contained therein. So I kind of like skipped over it, talked to the owner, mm -hmm. and I got all the information I needed in the helmet, the application page. Which I'm not going to waste yeah. my time trying to figure out what the hell happened. Okay. Anyway, um, all right, so. Well, uh, if, uh, if there's uh, nothing else, we can go right to the new permit applications. I have the first one on Duero. It's uh, enclosing a carport. Um, the gentleman is going to be his own contractor since he's been in the building business for about 20-something years. What's the address? Um, it is number one, Duero, D-U-E-R-O, Lane. Now, Janet, hold on one second. Uh, be before we get into it, each individual one here. Considering the fact that now we're going to be looking at these under the new covenants, we might be cutting some of these real short. Yeah. Well, I, All right, I, some I, of them I, might just be... I tend to do that anyway. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying we, we may not be getting into all the detail uh, that we did before because of the, the covenants we were working with. But the new covenants, we might be going real quick over these things. So, so he's, he's going to be matching the existing siding on the house with color and the uh, materials. He will have uh, as a professional installer do the two-car overhead garage door, and he will have an exit on the outside of the car, the now enclosed carport, for safety reasons if they need to get out of the house. So, I would move to approve. I approve. Yeah, let's have a show of hands. We forgot how to do that, didn't we? <laughs> the show of hands. Or it's hands? nice to be back, guys. Or approved. Okay. Plano. RP. That would be me. Okay. One Plano place. Yes. Uh, it is a, they are filling in a, ditch area out front and putting in a 12 inch um, by 15 foot uh, construction type heavy duty culvert and putting in covering it with rock in order to gain access to their uh, they've got a little um, building out front of the house where he can put his um, golf cart mm -hmm. 
And right now he's got, uh, the work is actually done. As you can see what they've got CA6 there. And underneath it is that uh, black uh, corrugated uh, tile at 15 feet of culvert. They're going to build up on the front of it with some more stone. I had suggested building it up a little bit higher with some CA6 to where um, it's either that or one inch wash rock where it'd be the water that would hit it would basically be like a French drain and drain out through the ditch. Um, he's connected it properly. I don't know if this follows under the covenants, but uh, it's already done. Is it just a small gravel or is it the big gravel? I mean, where the bushes, that's existing, right? Yes. And, and that large... And there's oh. another picture that shows... Uh, the front side of the uh, uh, culvert. What they're going to do is build it up. Maybe I didn't send it. I thought I it did. From you. So, is this essentially kind of making an, another driveway into his property? Pretty much, yes. Well, it's not a driveway so much. He wants to take the golf cart. He's not going to park yeah. a vehicle up in there. He's going to drive a golf cart in there where he's got, he's got a little lean-to old shed in there that he can put his golf cart in. But it's going from the street? Yes. Okay. In, in the past, we've been discouraging that. To, to <coughs> it's already done. So that's I said, I'll, I'll talk to the committee. I did not tell them that, that I said it looks good, but yeah. I'm not saying it's going to pass. But mm -hmm. under the new covenants, it may not be a, a problem. And... Um, if it's in the right of way, Jason in the past has said, as, as long as it's not something that's going to get in the way of operations, and as long as the owner maintains it, he's okay with it. Does anybody recall those statements from Jason? Because no, I do. Now, you look on the uh, application nope. sheet on the last page, it basically gives you an idea where he's going, where that uh, is on Castian Drive. And it's, well, you can see this right here. Where Let me get it in the photographs here, and I can. The the way you send it to me in the email, it's um, sideways, and I can't. It's not an attachment, so I can't change it. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> well, actually, what I did was I tried to make things easier by doing it off my phone instead of off my computer. Next time, I will allow. <laughs> Download it onto my computer and turn them and do whatever. You just have to turn done. your face this way. Yes, yeah, got it. That's right now. <laughs> that twelve inches is about the only culvert that would fit anyway. That sounds like it's what was under the drive. Well, so this is in addition to his regular driveway. Uh, the, the question comes up: Why can't he use his regular driveway? Because he it's built up to the point where he can't get over the top, and there's such a it, it it's built up and it's got a curb, and he can't drive up in through there with a golf cart. Golf cart, yeah. Well, I don't I don't know if there's any objection to that under the new under the new covenants that we're using. Um, you know. Uh, uh, there's not. And we, and, just, and we just approved the other driveway. Well, left. there are, there are a lot of subtle statements you can draw, uh, um, and uh, I mean we do have the covenants, but we also have the declarations, and the declarations state that uh, we are to look at this from an austerity, uh, how it fits into the community, and yada yada yada. So you can translate that a million different ways, okay? And say, yes, we have the authority to stop that. You certainly do, actually. Uh, okay. Okay. So what, what do we operate under is really what we're talking about. You're operating under both, the Declaration and the Protective Covenants, because they're both they're both governing documents. Right. And so the Declaration does give you the authority to have um, oversight over all construction and on all lands, basically. Right. I'm paraphrasing a lot, but that's... In a, in a nutshell, what it says, and and then these documents here support this this protective covenant support that statement. Okay, now the in the past the committees did not consider that in the best interest of the village. Now, what do we go by now? This committee has to make the decision case. today. 
each individual case. Yeah. That's common sense. sense. Yeah. Put that, a rule in effect. Well, here's that's the thing. not going to work. What he oh, did yes, on this. Will. Oh, yes, it will. Forever. What he did common on this Common sense court. works. <clears throat> but the problem is everybody has a different people will be great, sense and but as people will want to change. select who their reviewer is based upon what their opinion is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm going to get a second opinion. It, it still takes a majority of, <laughs> a of this opinion. committee's vote. It's not a single entity, right. not a single person. There's um, eight people that got a vote, yeah. or seven people that has a vote. Now, I think it's a trap. Yeah. And what it does, it it also helps them move the water around the corner. Yeah. And so as a result, in my opinion, well, nothing there will move the water around the corner. Huh? He's got that culvert and it's pulling it around. And so as a result, everything he's got everything coming through. And he's also using the stone as a French drain if there's any water that comes off the side. So as a result, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it, but then we all have to vote on it. Do you feel like it uh, is a detriment to the neighborhood and the property values and the surrounding area? No, sir. I think it. I think it's well, the way they did it was proper. Well, it's your well, permit, so you're making the recommendation, and if your recommendation re is my recommendation added, is to approve it. Then you take a vote, and, and the only reason that we would not approve it at this moment is if we felt that there was some. Um, challenge in that road right away or that public works would have a problem and I don't see that. In no, we've got to go right. one step beyond that. We have to go as to what kind of precedent we're setting. Uh, are, are we saying that this is okay for the, everybody in the village to start building more roads and accesses to their property? I mean, that's. I know that sounds ridiculous, but still, that's going from one extreme to the other. <clears throat> we're saying it's okay for this piece of property on this block today, but what about I'm saying the other end of the spectrum is, what if everybody wanted to do it? What if everybody wanted to turn around? What if we, everybody wanted to We, we look at everybody's request. Yeah. Excuse we, me? We look at everybody's request that wants to do that, and we determine whether we allow it or not based on the aesthetics of the neighborhood. But ba based on what set of documents do we work on? But here's the document the says we, it doesn't happen unless we, have, unless we approve it according to the aesthetics and the property values of the neighboring so it's Probably. left open to the discretion of the committee. We have to decide committee. what they can do and what they can't. It's, it's very subjective. subjective. It is I mean, open to the discretion of the committee. You're right about that. It is. But let me, let me say this real quickly, though. In this particular case, all they're doing is extending a culvert in the road right away, which we do all the time. That precedent's been set long ago. No, they're not, they're not doing that. What they're doing is they're having a new entrance, and because they're putting a new entrance, they need to have a culvert. This has nothing to do with that, Stephanie. Where's well, here's point? another option here's with that, because there's no place to park along you, the side. You, you can't have that without having the culvert. So the culvert is a result of putting a new entrance. What's the new I guess I'm not seeing that on the drive. He's using it to park his uh, uh, golf cart, was golf cart the, up yeah, underneath the house. The one you had. The little yellow spot is to the right of the driveway. Okay, first of all, this has got, <clears throat> this right through here is on an angle like this. <laughs> this follows all the way around through this corner. There's water that just runs through there. Okay, you got water coming down this way. This leads that water all the way around here and pulls it back over through here. They cleaned up all the leaves. They cleaned up everything else. They cleaned up back over here to where everything just flows right through. Okay, that's a result. But I'm saying the purpose of this is to create an entranceway from the street to the property. And the culvert is there only to make the operation complete. You need the culvert. Yes. May I you don't have question? to raise your hand. <laughs> no, but I didn't want to interrupt either. In, in, the, in last week's terms, the other PCs, this is easily allowed as a variance that we would have allowed as a variance. We still can. Right. Uh, there, there's, no change, allowed. there's no change here. And we can still stop it from happening. We still can stop it. Yeah. We, well, we don't have to have a rule that says we you, you can't do this. Yeah. We are the rule. Well, yeah, but, but now you have the next neighbor wants to know why his isn't allowed and this one is allowed. And we tell him. Yeah, and you. But what's your what's your documentation for backup other well, than yeah. sole opinion? What we tell him is what is our backup is. What is it? Uh, it's gonna. We're in, in our opinion. In our opinion, it's gonna de uh, 
be a detriment to the neighborhood and the property values in the neighborhood. That's what we're here to do. That's all we're here to do is to maintain the property values in this village and allow people to do whatever they can that doesn't, that is not a detriment to the community. So right. at, at some point in time, if, if, if everybody wanted to apply for this, would we everybody. wind up putting on the brakes? Everybody. And not we wouldn't put on the brakes at all, no. we just tell them no in every case we felt that was the right answer to do. We have that authority. We don't have to be told what we can and can't do. It's very vague, and it's vague for a reason. But we need rules to operate under. Is it, no, it, we it, don't. Not really. And, and they can't be protective covenants. They cannot be part of our People in this deeds. community will they challenge the hell out of us. They cannot be part of the okay. declarations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they cannot be part of the declarations without a supermajority vote of the property owners. They were adopted as a part of the declaration in 1970. And, the and, they, the and they cannot be changed or amended yes, without can. the supermajority vote of the property owners. That's wrong. No, you're talking about the declaration wrong. campaign. Wrong. And she's saying like we can change the declaration, no, I'm not which includes the yeah. PCs. As it comes around the corner. No, I don't Four know. Lots can have. We can change See, see where that uh, 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 alcove is? Part of the declaration. See where it says West, West Wing? The West Village? And you may be yeah. right. I've had this That's the property. I had this argument the other day, and I didn't believe. I didn't believe that was the case. Now, I may be wrong. Does his normal but, driveway come in off it, the horseshoe? I don't know that. I didn't hear what your regional, regional on the, question on the that would be. Let me, see. Yeah. Here, let me read this to you, Blaine. part of the declarations, then to yes. amend Plain the declarations, place, yeah. you need the majority Dwayne. vote. Dwayne, Dwayne. Off, you're, you're wrong. 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 But let me read it to you. Maybe this will help you. Maybe it'll help you. Let me have the floor for just a moment. Hold on, hold on, please. Let me have the floor for just a moment, because I want I want him to understand that the board, there's a difference. The protective covenants are in a... An addendum to the declaration, okay? They're an addendum to the declaration. No, I don't think so. Keep going. And, and Article 3 of mm -hmm. the declaration that was approved back in 1970 states this the POA Board of Directors, its successors and assigns, may amend, rescind, or add to the protective covenants from time to time. It's right here in this document. But unless the lots are specifically exempted from the protected covenants by the declarations or supplement, I mean, it's it, all the lots that are platted by Cooper that are a part of the declaration, which are all listed right here under all these notes, and are governed by these protected covenants. And any version that the board adopts or amends there too, they can change them. They have. That's why the 2014 version is different than the 1970 version. The 2018 version was different than the 1970 version, and we just have gone back to 2014. The board absolutely has the right, and they've done it for 50 years. They have the right with the limitation of a property. You're wrong. Vote. You're wrong, but I'm not going to argue. Mr. Chair, it right there. <laughs> Mr. Chair, I call for vote on the proposal by the ACC member, Ron. We're, we're not finished discussing this yet. <laughs> okay, sir. Now, my point here is not to look at this one particular project, which is really what we're doing here, so mm -hmm. we're trying to prove this. I don't have a problem with approving this. It looks like it's okay. I'm concerned about setting a precedent and what rules and regulations we operate under in the future and, and, and pe people wanting to know why are you making that judgment. Now, Tucker seems to uh, uh, imply that we can do this and we're allowed to do this, and I'm saying it's going to get very complicated. It hasn't been complicated for 40 years because we've had the same deal of situation to deal with for 40 well, we had, years, and we've done, and, and everybody before it's you. It's been a rinky king town 40 years ago. Now it's not. <laughs> it's, has it changed that much in the last yeah, 15 no, years? Yeah, sure it has. No, then. We've, added, we've added about 700 houses in the last 15 years. That's development it. changes the whole community. We're trying to. I think there's a, a, an effort out here to protect the whole community in as close to its original state as possible. But in any event, I'm just concerned about what rules and regulations we operate under. The next five people, 20 people, 100 people that apply for the same thing. Everybody's going to want their golf, not everybody, but people are going to want their golf cart or whatever it is, another driveway. Why interfere with your driveway? You know, my car is parked there. I don't want to move my car to get my golf cart. I'll have another driveway. But this one, you cannot, there's not, the driveway, there's not, there's no access to and, underneath for the golf cart to and, park. But Dan, Dan, let there's me no driveway there. Let me help you here for just a minute, okay? The board has given you, by virtue of their vote yesterday, the express authority to make decisions on, in the best interest of the community. What we were operating 
on yesterday is different than we're operating on today. Yesterday we were we were trying to get things m more black and white, and we're, we were very consistent in decision making. Right. Today you have the authority to use your best interest, to use your best judgment. I'm sorry, to right. act in the best interest of the property owner, and that's why each of you are evaluating a permit on its own merit using these as best you can to help you make that decision. If it's not addressed in there, you, by virtue of the declaration, have the right to make a decision, in either for or against, without a, a, a specific rule to back you up. The board is giving you that authority, and the board could take it away because the board could be the, could be the ACC if they wanted to, again, by, by virtue of the declaration. It says there, it does say that authority. That's and correct. we only need a majority vote to get this approved, right? That's correct. And you're just acting, and it's not a variance at this point because it's not a rule that states you can't or can. You guys are just making decisions based on the, your best judgment. <clears throat> the other thing also is it's it's basically a corner lot. And in the past, we have allowed two points of access to a residence, one from each street. So he's actually around that corner. So yeah, kind of. You're right because there's it's like that little circle there. It's this okay. lot right here. This uh, property that we're talking uh, again, about. Again, the, the old ones that we're working on didn't didn't even allow gravel access. It had to be paved. Right. Um, this is a gravel access. So yes, but he can also park a vehicle there too. There is no access to park off the side of the street unless it's on the driveway too. He's building it up to where you got 17 feet. Car will okay. park in there. Like I said, I don't have a problem with this particular one. I'm mm -hmm. concerned about the precedent that yeah. we might be setting. And, and what you're saying is, is yesterday we had a rule against having gravel driveways. Today we don't have that rule. You can have a gravel driveway today. Exactly. You just couldn't yesterday. So there's okay. nothing for you, you to stop it. You can have a gravel driveway today if we say you can. That's correct. <laughs> now, it, what what happens if we don't think that the next door neighbor can have a gravel driveway? We tell him we that. have to wait for him to ask. We tell him that, we tell him why. Okay. Because we don't tell this him that if we don't have a reason. Like, don't we, we, don't tell him, we don't tell him they can't do it if we don't have a reason. I got you. Uh, we okay. have to tell him why. I, I, I don't have a problem approving this one. Okay. I'm just concerned about where we go. I hear what you're saying. Honestly, I, I really do. I'm just I making a point. No, I hear what you're saying. And I, I mean, it, it, you know, I have concerns about inconsistency as well. And for people to call us out and say, why why them and not me and that sort of thing. It's, it's so we, definitely going to stir the pot. And get I mean, we just have yeah, to be thoughtful for each decision. We've stirred for 47 years. And we handled it for 47 years and didn't have a problem. Well, here's, here's my take on this. We've got some smart people on this board, on this committee. I mean... They all have common sense from what I, I wouldn't have been off, uh, said, yeah, I'll, I'll get on the board if I didn't think, you know, everybody was intelligent enough to make that decision. You make these decisions. Now, you got to go out there and you say, well, this isn't right. You're going to come back and say, I vote to not approve it. Because common sense, and because we are smart here on the committee. Yeah, but, th 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 and you're right, and you're right, there's no question about that. But, <laughs> but that doesn't negate the fact that there were smart people uh, a year ago who have denied many applicants that would get approved today. True. Okay, so True. smart doesn't make any difference. Well, that's where, <laughs> that's where we do, we as a board, or as a committee, excuse yeah. me, we answer to somebody, mm -hmm. okay? This this board used to answer to Cooper, uh, although it kind of answered to the Which board was the POA, POA anyway. The POA kind of <laughs> ran it. They, they're the ones that submitted it. Well, it's turned over to the POA now. So, well, I know, but yeah. my point is, is we have we have uh, a board of directors that we answer to. Uh, we and so if we get to doing things that's not proper, I promise you the board of directors will step in. I would hope. <laughs> so it's not just us that have an opinion. We have the boss that has an opinion too. Yes. And, and so, yes, if we have another committee down the road here that starts just not letting anybody do anything or just let everybody do everything, then we have bosses that we can be talked to. About. But what we're saying here is there's, there's one opinion overruling another opinion as opposed to a, a set of regulations to go by. Uh, 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 well, we've said, we said yesterday what uh, our opinion about that. Uh, as a yesterday? Board. Yes. Yeah, we'd like to deal with this other way. So yes, we want we want you guys' opinion. We don't want it written down on a piece of paper what you can and can't do in the village. We we want you guys to determine that based on aesthetics. Well, how does an applicant 
develop a concept of what they want to do on their property if they don't know what what they can or cannot do? What can, where do they go to get information? How does it? How, how do they figure out what to apply for? They go the same place they went for forty five years. And then they roll the dice as to whether we're all going to go for their permit. <clears throat> because if they went and looked at the book that we had, and they actually went by that, they'd actually not be able to do anything. <laughs> because it specifically says you can't do so many things we weren't even enforcing in that book. So what good was that book when we don't go by it anyway? Well, it's a starting point, and it's a discussion point. So is this. This is our starting point today. Okay. And all right. We, and well, we, let's we, we can add some things to it. I'm pushing the guideline system. Maybe it's going to be a change in PCs, yeah. but we're talking about the same thing either way. I'm not. I'm not advocating that we have to use the old CMP or any of that. I'm just saying how, what under under how under what rules and regulations do we operate under? And so far, it's coming to basically our opinion. We're nice guys and all that sort of crap, but it's still our opinion, you know. And um, uh, I'm not sure we have enough. Hey, guys. <laughs> right. Number one, Sanchez. Sanchez Circle? Is that the next one on each other? Yeah. Can I ask it? Well, did, did we get approved? It's, it did. It, it did. Plano got approved. Plano, yeah. Sanchez Circle is on the screen now. That weird little code is the, that's the property. There's the boat dock in question. Uh, really nice place. <clears throat> that boat dock has been there for 20 some odd years. It, if you'll notice, since you come in turning left into this thing, and this guy happens to have sort of a barge um, boat, he's having trouble missing his neighbor's covered boat dock across the way. The, the dock's in great shape. He still is planning to rebuild it and turn it about 10 degrees to give him a little space to get in and out of the thing. So he's angling it a little. He's angling it a little bit more than it is. And what he wants to do is add a cover over the boat. Right now, that's the open space. Still got a sun deck to the left, a little walk ramp to the right. Uh, is that one big dock? It's essentially two structures. Okay. Um, he's going to tie them together with a roof over the water in the middle. And we've got pictures of his drawings if you care to see those. When but again, the reason come? is, you know, it, it's been there forever, but it's getting, it's gotten crowded. He's not maybe the very best boat driver. Uh, that's and, gonna and he's looking for, he's going to spend a lot of money to make some space. Is it's he going to be standing within the 20-foot line? He's outside of it already. Everyone, he's like, he's everyone just, out there is outside of it. <laughs> His neighbor absolutely crosses and encroaches. Um, and I'm sorry, up one. Essentially, that's the existing in yellow. You know, on the left is a little two-footer. On the right is a five-foot, more like sun deck. The piece in the middle is his boat park. And he's going to put a cover over it in this application. But he's going to loosen it up and turn it a little bit before he does. And he's going to twist it a little bit to miss his neighbor on the other side of that dinky cove. What lake is this on? Balboa. Balboa. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't Balboa. sure. It's yeah. Balboa. Yeah, Lake Balboa. Again, looks very reasonable. Again, he is vaguely 16, 18 foot measured along his line from the corner, but on the extended line, he's probably more like six feet. So his neighbor, his neighbor's boat dock is actually across the line. Extended. Yeah. So that's, I don't think it's in any way a You don't have actual guess. riparian rights. I know that the ACC operated under that guys for many, many, many years that you, you more or less extend the lot lines out into the lake and you can't go beyond, but that's actually, yeah, there is no real law rule yeah, to support that. What is that, a laser-proof screen? <laughs> uh, actually, <laughs> my laser doesn't work. Right, most most TVs won't. Well. The green lasers will. 
I'm so, sorry, that's why well, the way it looks, the, the neighbor would, should probably be uh, in favor of that because there's less chance of running into his dock. He's actually hit it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. And, and, you know, again, it's really damaged to his boat. The, the structure is very solid. You're saying this is a safety issue. This <laughs> makes sense. I mean, it's, it's my yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Your recommendation? Absolutely recommend that we allow this intrusion. So done. Well, here's one of the sticky wickets. <laughs> Only one? <laughs> no. Since we don't have landscaping. Okay. Um, You're up, Ken. Which one? Go to the next one in line. Go to way. Well, I've, I'm looking at the original printout, and it's all jambled here. Ghosh. If I'm pronouncing that correct, if you recall, about two meetings ago, we approved with quite a bit of discussion a little garden shed, screened in shed. Mm -hmm. They now want to put a flagstone patio. Um, on the rise, the, the house is at one level, the shed's another level, and they wish to put a little flagstone shed up on the same level as the house, but overlook the little garden shed. Um, and it's very reasonable that, um, that they're doing, he's doing it, he wants to do it himself, mm -hmm. um, he and his wife. Quick question. Question? Patio or shed? No, no, structure? it's no, the patio, flagstone that. patio. That's what I thought Just a flagstone patio. Did I say flagstone shed? It's no, no sort it's of overlooking the little shed that's down below. I, I, that's why I wanted that. The, previous. the shed has nothing to do with this proposal. That's all, that's all I wanted to So, <coughs> uh, the, uh, yeah, please go. Yeah, so I have no problem with it. It was very reasonable. I met with both property owners and, uh, I uh, recommend approval. Thank you. Number three, Balboa Cove is mine. This was one that the committee rejected back in August. Um, and it's very similar to one that Wayne you had last yeah. meeting where she wanted to put a metal roof over partial part of her deck. Um, my arguments were the same that you would not be able to see it from the neighbors. I went across to the Isle Mujeres <coughs> to see if they could see it from there. No. Um, I believe it's 12 by 17. So I asked at the last meeting that this be presented again for um, committee approval. I have not spoken to the homeowner. I did not want to get her hopes up. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Um, so I wanted to. Again, give, you know, present this to the committee with the arguments as the same as I did in August of last year and the same arguments that Dwayne had that it's not going to be seen. The color of the roof, if you're in a helicopter, is going to match the color of the shingles. Um, so I would move to approve this permit and I, I will go speak to her. Um, she was pretty upset when this happened. So I will, if it's approved, I will go talk to her. It's, it's just basically covering a patio with a, a metal. She has a long seat. deck across the back of her house with no shade cover. So in the afternoon, she gets the, the full sun. She cannot sit out on her deck. She just wants to uh, a little 12 by 17 area covered so that she can put a little table out there, sit and enjoy her backyard. So I would move to approve. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yeah. interrupt you. Question, what's going to be our philosophy regarding metal roofs? Because we need a philosophy to put a judgment against it. Okay. Now, what's our philosophy under the new covenants for metal roofs? If, we allow metal roofs. We do Always allow, have allow metal roofs. Okay, there are some uh, objections, and that's color. We have no problem. View, sometimes the lakeside versus golf courses versus others. 
uh, allow us to make a variance, which is what we've been doing. So we don't have a problem, or we won't be having a problem under the new covenants with metal roofs. We did before. At, at, I, I, they, did. They, they were allowed before. <clears throat> We've allowed them on, on a, a need What basis. we were looking at there is, is so the basis. pitch. The, you, you have the pitch of the shingle roof like, like this, and then you're going to put a, a different pitch, and you're going to be able to see it. Is it going to blend well aesthetically, even if the color match? Well, this one you're not going to be able to see unless you're a bird or over. Well, is, is this one of those duplexes or is this a house? No, it's a house. It's a duplex. It's right next to the uh, it's, it's across from the Island. town there. I didn't know which one it was. <laughs> yeah. So, on, it's, it's, yeah, I remember this one. One thought people may take into consideration is, is and Dan, you're, I think you're saying this and you have been saying it, for, is this, this going to hurt the property values of their neighbors? No, or, the neighbors or, have no or, objection. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Or, or, or the village, you know, yeah. or, or the overall property values of the community. Yeah. Is this action going to do that? Good question. It's, 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 it's a, that's, that's what the rules were here Sound for. we got to look at what they're here for, and we can do a so much better job of adhering to them when we know what they were actually originally designed for, and that's our property values. This is, this is her deck. Yeah. She, her her we, sliding we, door comes yeah, out in here. Oh. She wants to put this little covering here. The <laughs> remainder of it will be open deck. I think the Vegas? philosophy, like you said, Dana, I mean, typically, typically we would not want multiple roof materials on the same roof. I think that wouldn't be a, you know, but it, unless you can't see it, it's not harming the neighbor. I think that's... I think the philosophy probably remains the same. We're not, we don't want to encourage metal and asphalt shingle roofs. I mean, that's not something that we, we would typically say that's a, a good look. Like if know? they put a room addition on, like a, a, an Arkansas room, and it's going to have a pitched gable roof, and they want metal on it, well, it's going to be seen, and it's going to clash possibly with the shingling. This is not going to be seen. Right. Okay, and, it, and it's a, a reputable uh, metal company, by the way. Uh, they're a good company, SBI. At least they've been in business for right. many years. So all in favor? Thanks, SBI. And I will, I will go by today and tell her that we revisited it, and um, if she's still interested in the project, she can go by <coughs> and get her, her... Well, tell her to wait for the, the okay from the POA that it's been approved. That no oh, yeah. It. No, no, I'm not telling her she can start hammering today, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think she needs to reapply. We'll just pull this one back Yeah. Up. Stephanie, do you agree with that? I do. Thank you. <coughs> Next one is three Sosigato Way. Sosigato, whatever that Sosigado. is. Sosigato. Sosigato. And this is... Uh, Another deck. Uh, they, they've uh, already uh, purchased a uh, an outside. Uh oh, your battery is low. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's really low. Thank you for the warning. Two seconds. Five. You have expired. Three. Two. <laughs> You're not going to explode, are you, okay. Stephanie? <laughs> I don't think so, but look, it's good. <laughs> Watch your fingers. We're having a biological We're break back. by one of the members temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> We're too. Sorry. We'll be back up in a sec. <laughs> anyway, just to give you a little verbiage on this, the owner has uh, uh, purchased a uh, hot tub, and in the back he wants to just build a, a little deck just a little bit above ground. Uh, and he's going to step it up a little bit to get to his existing patio so that the tub is just below the existing patio and then you got to step down to get to the lower level. You familiar with the area? Or? No, I had one designed exactly that oh. way. <laughs> the only thing that he wants that uh, uh, may have not have been in accordance with the older covenants is he wants to put up a, an eight foot six screen wall. And he's discussed this with his next door neighbor. His next door neighbor thinks it's a good idea because he don't know what's going to go on over there. So, <laughs> 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 and 
he may not want to see what's going on there. But in any event, after the meeting, he does have a story about something like that. <laughs> what the, he's, he's aware that that that, that we uh, we like to go to shadow wall type construction. What he has offered is something that's also in this neighborhood, and I went around to look at it, and it looks quite good. And it's a louvered wall, um, which basically looks just like a louver. You have a Top yeah. member, lower member, and then you have slats, mm -hmm. and and you could virtually see through it, or basically get close to seeing through. The wind can go through it, things like that. So um, uh, I'm I'm not I, I don't I don't see why we couldn't allow it. Uh, there's nothing to say that we shouldn't allow it. Uh, it's eight foot six high. Uh, I discussed that with him, and uh, he's gonna get that lowered down by raising the platform. Of the tub. In other words, he had a deck up here and he's building a platform down here. And he was going to put the tub over here with an eight foot wall, eight and a half foot wall. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to come up three feet, put the tub three foot higher, which means he doesn't need an eight foot six wall now to reach the elevation he wants to reach. It's only now a five foot wall or five and a half foot wall. So I think that's better than an eight and a half foot wall. But uh, you know, we have nothing to turn it down with anyway, so I guess I don't see any reason why we shouldn't allow it. The owner next door agrees with it, and they're out, <coughs> he's, he's out in the middle of nowhere. Well, well you don't have it, but uh, so it, there's nobody else around except his next door neighbor. So uh, the, uh, the whole deck is going to match the existing deck, and, uh, and it's very similar to Shadow Wall. So, yeah. I recommend approval. We, we do have it. I'm sorry. We, we do have a way to turn it down. I want to. A what? Uh, we do have a way to turn it down. You just said we wouldn't have a way to turn it down anyway. Well, we do. It goes back into the same thing. If that eight foot wall is very unattractive, we could make him make it five foot. Just because it's not written somewhere doesn't mean we can't do that. I want to make this clear what we can and can't do based on these covenants. And okay. Stuff. Well, then let me turn that around a little bit. You say uh, it's not attractive. To who? Because, <laughs> first of all, it's not on the main street. Nobody can see it from the main street. The only person that can see it is the next door neighbor who's approved it, and behind that is Woods. My point is it's not attractive, and it's going to detract, deter from the property values in the surrounding area or the community. We can turn it down based on that. Okay. I'm not saying we would. Yeah. You, but you keep you referring that we can't do it. Well, yes, we can. We can do a lot. Well, uh, uh, yeah, you can do a, do a lot if you really stretch what, what you're saying you have the authority to do it. I'm saying you, you should at least have some reason for it. And my opinion is not going to just no, you work. have a reason for it. Yes, definitely need a reason for it. Okay. All right, so I, I recommend approval. Do we have a vote on it? I got that. Yeah. And it's me. A brand new house at 3 <coughs> Ruedo Lane. It's a smallish thing um, for that particular neighborhood, but uh, it's the house on the corner has to be a huge beast. This one is going to be a smaller, but it fits on the lot. It fits in the area. Uh, a medium gray color, weatherwood roofing, um, everything with a whole lot of brick. Um, and I don't think there's anything else that got my attention. Um, but again, it looks fine. There's actually a tree conservation plan attached. It just doesn't have any issues. Um, there was a slight update. And I'm not sure if you got the... We got an update on the plant. They had the wrong lot number on it once. But I think three is the correct one. Is that all brick? It's essentially all brick. I did not get an elevation. But yeah, it's. Yeah, it's, the elevation's in there. Is it in there? It's yeah, there. it's just a bunch of elevation. It looked like it was all brick, the reason I asked that. Yeah. And, and a brick and a rock front. Yeah, there's some stone accent, yeah, accents. There's some stone accents, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Again. Standard. Very nice, very standard. Um, no problems with it. I recommend that it's approved. All right. 
And Dwayne, the next one's mine, and it's Padrone Lane, not Pardon. So if you could fix that now before we get it in minutes. <laughs> P-E-D? P-A-D-R-O-N. Padrone. Switch to I just, I just type just, a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's just a typo. This is going to be a deck going on the back. Todd Natsky's the builder. Um, it's 18 by 8, and she is going to have um, pickets for the deck railing. They'll be properly spaced apart to code. Um, she has a set of stairs that are going down for uh, ingress and egress to the deck in the house. I would move to approve. <coughs> okay, mine uh, is seven the Gonza place. It's a dock. Um, on the application, there is um, on the layout. The topography, it's on the wrong one, it's on four instead of seven. But pictures of that dot, well, you can see right there, there's a, right where Stephanie has uh, okay. the arrow, there is a uh, stairwell, All right. a little stairwell into the water. It's going to be uh, 20 feet, 28 feet by 32, <coughs> and uh, it's definitely more than 20 feet from the edge of the property. And it's basically going where that boat is sitting. And it's a oh. daily. And I approve, we, uh, I vote we approve it. Is that right on the property line corner? No. It's I'm sorry, it's house. got a concrete, it's got a concrete. Oh, they're sitting right on the water almost. Yeah. Yeah. The no, boat's no, no. sitting on the water. You said where the boat was, I thought it was right on, parked right on the edge. No, uh-uh. Okay. Well, it's on the property of, uh, um, oh, it's on the concrete, but the property line is back farther. That's right, right here. here. Okay, that's not what I thought I said. Here's right. the property line right here. Yeah, I see it. And that is a common property piece. And then here's the concrete. Uh, I'm sorry. We're going back this way. I can't it's on the seven. Yeah. Here's the property line right here. Is um, the concrete are is. we doing the yellow highlight? I think we're doing the yellow one, aren't we? No, that's four. That's okay, wrong. so it, uh, it's seven. But it's still a common property next door. This is it's all limited common property. This, this is all townhouses common. here. Thank you. This, this is, is all one, two, three, and then you got one, two, three. Okay. So is it this one? Is it this one though, Ron? Or is it down here? It's this one, lot four. And no, it's so. No. It's, it's, it's one lot down seven there. down it's here. Seven. Okay. That was yeah. what I missed. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, I was like, it was the other one. Did it. <laughs> kick the tripod and move the camera. Oh. <clears throat> I'll have to call Paul and ask him to make sure it's right. But that was recommended? Yeah, I would recommend it, yes. It's just a dock, right? It's just a dock. It's going to be a covered dock. Yeah. <coughs> it is going a little more than four foot farther than our 28 foot into the water. It's going 28 feet out and 32 foot long. Why? Wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's coming out. Okay. It's coming out 28 feet. So it fits. that's legit. Yeah. Big dock. Yeah, it is. <laughs> What, uh, what townhouse is this? Do you know? What townhouse associates? Is it Madrid? No. Madrid Courts. Is it Madrid Courts? Madrid? Madrid. Madrid. Okay. So, so probably the... <coughs> Madrid's on DeSoto, isn't it? Before us? Huh? Madrid's on DeSoto, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is Madrid, I believe. Yeah, but it's DeSoto like. Oh, just out of lake. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, of yeah, I, I uh, we did those uh, solar panels, panels on that yeah. house. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Boy, they're right up to the water there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All in favor? Did we? Yeah, we yeah, got it. Sorry. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I 
Balenciaga. Positive, maybe fine. Yeah, Balenciaga. Yeah, this this is the one he kicked over here. That's fine. That one he recorded. Oh, okay. Is it an outbuilding? Are we at a Balenciaga? Uh huh. What you can do with a phone camera. Oh, this is me again. I'm sorry. Yeah, balance the argument. Brain fart. <laughs> I was, uh, this one here is a uh, storage shed going in the back. They've got a lot of property back here, and there's, uh, if you bring up the pictures. Oh, okay. I've got two pictures, I believe. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Way, um, what they're going to do is they're putting in a 10 by 16 uh, shed with a uh, in the back, and it is uh, it's on a level ground, and it's roughly about 17 feet from the grinder, so there's plenty of room either way on each side of the property to uh, uh, get access to the grinder. Originally, what he had, he marked everything out with orange stones, so you probably can't see the orange stones, but. <coughs> I think this is another one where you probably had two pictures on the same thing, I only grabbed one. Let me see if I can find it. with them the, the colors and how it matches yes, the house. Yes, it's all going to be the same color on the uh, uh, application. It calls for the barn to be uh, a certain color and I believe it is a uh, shingles are to match. The existing is to match the home color exactly and it's going to be a keystone gray. The house is a keystone gray. Part of it, see where you have orange rock right there? Up oh. there at the top, right here. <laughs> hey, okay. Here. Yeah. It comes here to here, from here to here. I suggested they take out the timbers underneath. That wouldn't that way that wouldn't rot or cause any type of animals to live underneath there. And they're gonna well, they build put, it up. They're putting it up themselves? No, they're gonna have it brought in. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and there's no plenty room on both sides to bring it. No electrical? No electrical. I told him if, if he does decide to put electrical in there, he needs to get another permit. Okay. I uh, propose that we uh, approve this one. This is a tough shape. Okay. 13 Splendora. Yes, Rest sir. Splendora. Rest Splendora. Resplendor. I might get it. This is food, food actually times. easy. Why uh, uh, yeah. Lane. Lane. <coughs> um, again, nice house, nice property. Essentially, can you zoom it in just a notch or two? Sometimes, and then it, sometimes it turns it white. Uh, <coughs> I did that. Um, so essentially, what he'd like to do is put in a little bit of con uh, concrete. This is going to be a sidewalk, four foot wide. He's actually like to be able to come off of his driveway and down that right side of the house, that's 40 foot, to sort of a back door. And it's, I think it's kind of a basement, subfloor entry, storage stuff. It ties into a flagstone thing. A, against the back of that house over to his deck which is a nice concrete block thing and then another piece of 20 foot piece of where are we going to use Stephanie? Hmm? we're right here this yeah one. sorry the house where it says east. essentially from that red 
sidewalk staircase. He'd like to actually extend the concrete through that little bit of gravel to an existing sidewalk that goes to the boat dock. It's all straightforward. It's all appropriate. I recommend its approval. On favor? Twenty gave you a better picture. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. And again, the picture doesn't really show that it's tying into a bunch of other concrete. But yeah, from the from the thing going down the side over to the thing going down the middle, there's a flagstone walk in place. And at the end of that short little rock thing going down toward the lake, he actually joins an existing sidewalk that goes down to his covered boat. Doc. It, it's appropriate and nicely done. Okay. Next one is uh, 22 Alcano. And that's you, Dan. This is pretty simple. Uh, this gentleman has a porch which is screened in, he's got screened windows and a screen door, and all he's going to do, well not to oversimplify it, but he's going to make it a room, he's going to replace the screen windows with storm, with uh, regular windows, um, by Wilson I think he said, and uh, he's going to replace a door, which is over on the right hand side, uh, with a regular door, and they're just, they, just going to enclose it, that's it. No, nothing to screen room, room. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. It's just pretty simple. <coughs> Recommend approval. That was drawn by 2000 BC CAD drawing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the first house plan. <laughs> <laughs> Educated at Fred Flintstone University. <laughs> <laughs> Panorama. <laughs> and what they have there, as you can see on the, on the bottom, do you, do you have your arrow in there? This is the dock. It's just okay. a swim dock. It's, uh, it already uh, meets the 20 foot. All they're doing is putting a roof over it. It's going to match the house, and it's being done by uh, Natsky, if I remember correctly. Uh, they're using the same shingles as they have on the house, and it's a nat Natsuki job. So it's covering a dock and not a deck. It's a it's a swim dock, correct? Uh, it looks more like a boat dock. Well, it, it's yeah, dock. I'm calling the swim dock only because it's dead now. It, it, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> have a roof <laughs> over it, and it's got a, it a side the, deck. On the agenda, it has covered deck, so. Um, thank you. I'll fix that. Thank you. All in favor? Recommend approval. And 23 Victoria. Okay. Um, this uh, is very similar to one that we just discussed. It's a shed out in the backyard. It's the same, uh, it's a tough shed, which we have plenty of them in the village. Uh, they're gonna come in and erect it in one day. Yeah. And they do stand up. <laughs> and, huh? They really do last. They do, they do a nice job, okay. they do. And it's a, it's a, it's a good size shed, okay. eight by 14. Does this uh, rectangle the, the, the location? Does this rectangle? Uh, yeah, it's, that's it there. <clears throat> and also there's photos, if anybody wants to see them, to show where it's actually marked out. Okay. Uh, there it is up there, and there's a couple others to show it more clearly. It's out in the middle of the, of the yard, okay. and it's surrounded by trees. So uh, <clears throat> the, sh the shingles will match the house. 
and it's uh, it's going to be in, uh, there's going to be an interior floor which most of the tough sheds have, so no problem. One quick question. Yeah. The the first drawing had some kind of a setback looking line through the middle of it. Do you know what it was? Setback. Yeah, there was just a line through the. It's on the plat. Well, another one, actually. That one. Uh, yeah. No, that's. I'm that's, sorry. That's, that's a contour. contour line. Thank you. No. That's what I was trying to figure out. Okay. All in favor? Altiza. Which one? The Altiza 25. Thank you. I need some help on this one. Yeah, okay. Um, they have begun to construct this deck already. Um, I met with both property owners and they said, well, no one from POA or our contractor said <laughs> that once we paid the application fee, we couldn't start the work. And I said- It um, says it right on the application. Mm -hmm. Pardon? It says it right on the application. <clears throat> but we hear that a lot. Yeah. People say that to us a lot. So my question is, how do we deal with something that's already two thirds finished and we've not met on it. Uh, and they're saying no one told us we had to wait. Well, when you and go out there and you see a situation like that, basically you should, you should go out there and just make believe it's not there and you're going to review it just as you would review it if, if it wasn't there. Then we come back and discuss what they've done in advance. Now, there, in the past we've had alternatives, doubling the fees, et cetera and so forth. Getting an inspector to go out there and take a look at it to make sure that they're proceeding correctly or something along those lines. <clears throat> so the, the, the point is we want to review what they're putting up to see if it's okay. Yes. And, and then the, 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 the other problem of them starting in advance, that's a, that's a different kind of problem. That falls into somebody else's court. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> yeah. So, so let's discuss what he's building and see if we're okay with what he's doing. Well, I, I sent quite a few, uh, several photos mm -hmm. and some drawings. Um, so what he's, there he is, there's yeah. one of them right there. They, are, they, they tore off an old <coughs> deck and um, they're constructing a new deck. Yeah. Um, and the materials list that the contractor sent is acceptable. The angles of the stairway and uh, steps are acceptable from my standpoint, the visible. Well, that's their responsibility to build it according to the code. <coughs> what you might be up doing at, at this particular uh, position and, 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 and uh, the status of where it is, is you might help them out and say, uh, are these railings 36 inches high? At, uh, are you going to meet the four inch minimum uh, or maximum between rails? Just to let them know in advance because the next day and, they might be I putting did, them on. And if, and if they have the questions. railings up and they're going to put the spindles in in less than four inches or less, you know, there isn't much you can do other than no, that. No, there I mean, is. Our inspector will make them take it out. Oh, okay, but, but but we're trying to be nice people yeah. and say, why put it in, do it all? No, 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 I, I understand. I'm just saying since it's already built, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily know because you're not necessarily an inspector and not understand all the code, but so you're right. You're in, you're evaluating it based on the drawing, the aesthetic, the materials, exactly. the setbacks, the easements, all that stuff, and then making a recommendation to approve it. And then when we go out and inspect it, if they built it that's wrong, they're going to make them tear it out and rebuild it to what? code. Uh, but, question, but it, it is, doesn't hurt. Would this, would this be a variance no. since... Uh, is it, is it oh, not violating some part of the code? Yes, they don't, they did not submit that's to... Not that's, 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 that's not code. That's not code. No, no, that's no, a no violation. That's different. 
it, that I could see from the code and from what the materials list presented by the contractor. My question is, how do we deal with something that yeah, we'll we do. don't? Yeah, you we, let do. we let the compliance take care of it. Compliance does that. Yeah, I mean, that keeps sure. it separate. Clean. Okay, then do we, do I recommend approval of what being constructed. If you think that it meets the requirements of any normal <coughs> deck that would be being torn out, then yes, you recommend approval. I'll make note that it got started without, and we'll address that from my end. Yeah, you what guys you, don't have to worry about it. you make a recommending approval of what has been submitted on paper? Mm -hmm. What you see out there, you don't necessarily have to make a comment on, other than to be a, a good person and, and mention things that you think might be of concern like the heights of the rails and the et cetera and so yeah. forth. The structurability of it, if you can make a judgment on that. If not, it's, it's, it's really not our problem. Uh, it's their problem to construct it properly. It's our problem to allow it to, to do it or that it meets our requirements or the requirements of the village. Because well, the inspector will go by and say, It yeah, goes yeah. back to the argument or question, do we, and I think Tucker uh, answered it earlier, um, do we have the discretion to say, oh, it's two-thirds finished, um, we recommend approval, you know? Um, no, you, well, you, are, you are, just like Dan said, you are evaluate. you are making a recommendation to approve the construction of the deck, assuming it wasn't there. And then you let me know that it was already built, and then we address that through compliance. We will address <clears> that <throat> outside of committee. Okay. You guys have to worry about that. And real honestly, that's what, what said, I needed to hear. Yeah, and, and what you said, Dan, I mean, I would much prefer if something is started when you guys get out there to to evaluate the project because not everybody has construction background like you, right? So <laughs> not everybody's gonna have to say the right thing about, you know, be sure that your railings are exactly. X height or this far apart. But I'd rather you say, since you've already started construction, you need to be aware that when the inspectors show up, they may require you to modify or change the construction that's, because it may not. It's the same thing as it's, it's, we're offering them help and advice. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know the uh, the, the rules and regulations, <coughs> fine. You don't mention it. But, but why would we say that when it's already started versus if it hadn't started? It's the same the same thing can happen. Yeah. We can't. Just want to say just, just exactly. Exactly. We want to get into code issues. That's what our inspectors are for. That's, that's right. right. I mean, I just want to make sure we don't step on the inspector's toes or mislead anybody yeah. as thinking because we aren't necessarily. But we, we had a guy who was halfway through one of his, and and I saw structurally it was fine, but there's a lot of things in there that were not acceptable code wise. Uh, I just happened to know that. Mm -hmm. I went to Sid. Sid went to look at it. And he called me up and started laughing and says, I, will, I won't approve this. Right. Yeah. And, and, I said, I, I, and I said, I didn't want to go over, over my head and tell the guy that. Right. But <laughs> I said to him, it doesn't look right. And, you know, so. but, but Kim, to your point, you know, yeah, what they're proposing looks pretty good to you. You still appropriate, correct in m mentioning that they've started it already. Yes. And that all of a sudden, yeah. that, that's all it needs is an alert that, then I'm alerting Stephanie that hey, this has begun without right. approval of this committee, and so uh, compliance needs to look at it. But, uh, but as far as what you're going to recommend that we approve or disapprove, <clears throat> sounds like you have no issues with. Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, look at this and how it fits in with a previous? Uh, Submittal that they had because they, they had some work uh, last month. I had, the land, they had, I had the landscaping last. <clears throat> so there's no conflict there. Well, only uh, Janet wrote me a note <laughs> and she cc everybody that hey I think I had a landscape uh, proposal on this several weeks ago or a month ago or so. It was last meeting. <clears throat> and. Um, so it, it, their argument, well, nobody told us. Yeah, okay, but is, do you see a conflict with anything? I mean, no, it doesn't. So we can approve it, right? I recommend Let's approve. go. <laughs> 25 Torino. You're up again, Ken. Which one? Torino. 
Torino 25. Okay, yes, this is a carriage home. Um, landscaping, and I sent several pictures of front, back, sides, and oh. um, it's, it's there. The, the trees are there. They left enough trees. They've left. Uh, uh, All right, before you, before you go any further, let's discuss how we're going to handle landscaping. I mean, yeah. now. This is because this is under the new. Right. So you have the, again, you have the right to require landscaping because the declaration says that the ACC has that authority to do that. And what you just don't have is any <coughs> rules around them. Right. <laughs> so you're making a judgment call mm -hmm. with every every application that's submitted. How far along are they, Ken? Uh, pardon? How far along are they with the site development out there? Those gravelly plates and things like that? Yes, you can see. Oh, um, okay. A berm. Uh, well, that's a berm right next to the. Here's the mulch uh, to the left. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, looking at the back toward the golf course. Mm -hmm. uh, they left trees. This is the front. More trees and so forth. So. Um, I mean, in the, what you guys required in the past was like that they had to have some foundation shrubs, things like that. Is this a spec home or is this a Pardon? Is this a spec home or is this a... No, no. No, it's a carriage home. No. And it is not. It's sold, okay. allegedly. Okay. Uh, well, when I talked with Carriage down in Hot Springs, uh, she said, we have a contract on it. It has not closed. Yeah. But it kind of goes to that notion we were trying to get out of the contractors having to complete landscaping that may not agree with what the buyer wants. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and this is a perfect and, that, and that's they, why they've left the areas so that the homeowner can come in. I mean they, they've got a slew of trees left on here that they're not in the uh, in the setback for the golf course. Right. So <coughs> this is really just let it go. But no uh, I had a question. Do we want to dump the landscape calculation sheet for the time being. I mean, all of a sudden. Yeah, because you don't have any rules. We don't There's have any no rules. Right now. You know, we already have agreed that it's got several problems inside that calculation. Well, and it's a pain. But <laughs> well, it, but well, it, it has me on this, yeah. this particular. Okay. Yeah, I think it's good to leave it. Sure. Leave room for the homeowners to come in and, and pick. And, and we talked about they had six months after occupancy to, to take care of their landscaping. Right. If, I think if we don't do that, we're gonna end up like an, a certain street here in the village that looks like Phoenix. And I, people what? complain constantly about how ugly that looks. Well, again, that's a conceptual eye the beholder thing, but I mean, we drove down it. My husband was like, well, "I would never buy here. I would never buy at one of these houses." Um, but if the builder leaves areas, mulched areas, then then the owner can come in and put in boxwoods or mandinas or whatever they they want. And with the landscaping, I like the idea that we have a we have a plant list as a guideline. Not anymore. Be Not anymore. No, no, I'm saying to, to maybe add that back in because if you're coming from Chicago, mm -hmm. you don't know what grows better here. Well, we adopted the men's garden club list. We just yes, eliminated it. Yes. So we just basically <coughs> say we recommend that you look at their website to find exactly. plants that grow well in our climate. Exactly. exactly. You have to get rid of a document you guys have created or was in right. another document. That gives you better guidance to what how exactly. you make decisions. It's not. It doesn't have to be in this. It doesn't have to be in here too. Anyway. Right. I exactly. Can, I can write some notes. I got to think about this here. When how are you going to develop a, a, an individual opinion if you don't have something to start with? So it's a starting point. If certain things you as an individual don't like about it, you can ignore it. But it's a starting point. I think we ought to keep it for now. And later on, if it doesn't serve our purpose, the calculation sheet. Yeah. I mean. We've already identified problems that we have. So what? Fix. Well, what problem? So what? It does more good than it does anything else. Yes, not it not does. if it's wrong. Well, it's just a guideline. But what problem? Tell me the problem with it. Um, we'll we, it. We've already agreed that there's, in addition to the front yard, 
the 15 foot no tree spacing around the around the buildings we don't account for that in the spreadsheet uh, well then it just needs the the sheet just needs to be revamped so that that's incorporated <clears throat> well that's just the how you measure anyway that is, that's not about the, the sheet itself that's just how we're measuring the area to put Again, it into that, the sheet that's getting to be a very complicated sheet in no, trees versus no, just foundation no one can look at a blank sheet and fill it in well until we come up with something better right. there's no reason not to at least use it as a starting point recognizing that the disabilities of it and dealing with the rest of it and and that, that 15 foot uh, uh, d dimension really doesn't mean much that's that's more of a construction uh, but, but it means that they don't they're not required to I, have trees covering right you, you can ignore that no you can't yes you can and for yourself line, so by yourself for, for your own personal opinion okay. So, uh, I, but if it's if and 500 if it, square foot, it's a tree. And if later tree. on, if it starts to get to be a problem, then we can talk about eliminating or substituting something else in order to come up with an opinion. I recommend we approve the carriage home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <Somehow>. you. <laughs> uh, Janet. Uh, 29 Saldana, this is an unoccupied lot at this point. They are going to be building and they are going to put riprap in and it's going to have the fabric underlay on it. It's um, six inch rocks by 12 inch rocks. It will go down below the water line as the, the, what's required or was required in the book um, and then come up. Um, the neighbor on one side has the seawall, the other on, on the other side also does. So. It, it won't blend in perfectly, but we do allow riprap, so I would move to approve. But I did take a picture from the neighbor's I saw a dock over. Okay. So then approved. Would this have been approved before? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We've allowed either or. This question. You know, we, we have done a variance because on Coronado there was too much of a granite face on the water line and it was pointless for them to either put in a constructed sea wall or, or rip wrap. It was a natural <coughs> Oh, okay. I see what you want. Uh, 82 Magellan. Boy, this guy let me uh, know did, did what he thought. Did we actually put our hands up for the uh, yeah. cell down? Yeah, we did. We did. Okay. Both we did. 82 Magellan. Uh, I got ringed out by this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guy tried to intimidate me. Of course, uh, that was difficult. It's hard to intimidate an intimidator. <laughs> but in any event. We need to get him this cap. Um, anybody know this guy, Alan Scheiser? Oh, yes. Oh, you know him? Yes. He's the, he's the builder that was on um, Alteza. We, we had two different colors of siding, okay. and the entire neighborhood was in an uproar. And I was getting my phone blown up by neighbors. I don't know how they got my cell number. Um, <laughs> yeah, and they wanted me to do something about it when I was in Alabama at the beach. Um, it, so remember, we had that discussion. They I had remember to pick now. Either the gray or the rusty pumpkin or whatever it, it was. It blocked. It was blocked. It. Too. And and he he has still not done the landscaping on that residence as he was asked to. Well, apparently he's into flipping houses now. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's, that's what this one basically was. Oh, that's the rules. He's in partnership with, with someone I actually know. Um, the house is still for sale, so, but that's, he does, he does small builds here and there and then flips them over. Well, I think he's doing a pretty good job here. Um, Oh, what, I like the houses. What do you, yeah, he, he's got a, it, it's a nice house. He sold it to some people uh, and um, they came out and they, they, they moved in and they're, they're, they're living there and they don't like the sun that they're getting, too much sun. So, oh, uh, can, you, you, can you go to the plan? What plan? What do you mean? 
Yeah. That's it, that's it. Come yeah. on. The side, the side. Uh, this is a deck right here. Uh, and uh, originally he submit, uh, they submitted to just put the, a roof over the deck here. Now the, the, the ladies, the three ladies that bought this place, they want to put the, a roof over the whole outside deck. So uh, there's a, a roof plan. Can you go to the roof plan? Yeah, keep going. That's it. That's, That's it. Well, I have roof plans. Unless it's, hold on, maybe it's here. This? Is it this? Yeah, there it is. Okay. This, is okay. this was the original one where I showed you where the dotted line was, and now they're adding this. And all he's going to have is a shed roof coming from the existing one. He's going to take the uh, um, the drain, the gutters and leaders and put them on the outside here. Okay. So he's going to shed down there. He's going to shed this way. He's going to shed this way. He's going to create two <coughs> valleys. Mm -hmm. This is no uh, engineering impossibility here. He's putting in the rolled deck with the blue uh, that blue laminate that you put down, not laminate, laminated uh, roofing, a membrane roofing, which makes it waterproof, and then it's gonna have the shingle-like, rolled shingle roof, it looks a lot like shingle, same color as the one that's on the house. Uh, we did this on another project, and it looks really good. Okay. So, uh, and this will be vaguely a one on 12 roof? It's gonna be about one on 12, yeah. And it'll look like it was part of the ori original it, it, it'll be the same color and the same material as the roofing. It just doesn't have all the same corners and cuts and everything. Yeah. But it's the same color and the same material. Is this on the lake or anything? Huh? Is this on the lake? Uh, golf. It's on the... Oh, it's right. That one? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think so. Yeah, it's on Magellan. Yeah. Magellan Golf Course. The 17th hole in part three. Right, the, oh, it's right on the left side of the uh, green. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, there's green. That's number 17, which is a part three. Stephanie, there's, can you zoom back in again? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? I, I just I asked Steph if she could zoom back in. Struggling with the roll roofing on the, on, the, on the golf course like this, it's going to be seen. But you didn't know what roll sure. roofing is. It's sort of that same. It, it's a rolled field. shingle. I'm not I sure it's all okay. seen. The roll roofing is a three foot roll of roofing material. That's right. That lays in layers. Yeah. Correct. Is it going to look funny? I don't know the, I don't know the product. We, uh, we, we proofed it with this soto. It looked well, really well, good. My question is, is it going to be seen? Yeah. Unless that green is way elevated. No, the green's not. The green's down. But no, the green is down. down. The house is higher. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out if it's going to be seen. Uh, it's going to be ugly. You'll, you'll have a hard time seeing it. And again, that's my opinion. <laughs> but if it's going to be seen, if it's not going to be seen, then it's not really going to matter. Okay. Uh, and uh, we do have precedents in using it on lakes and all. Uh, at least I, I know of one project that we used we it on We did one lake. not too long ago. Not too long yeah. ago. Um, so, uh, and with a 1 on 12 roof and the, and the green down, Definitely you're not going to see it. I can't yeah. remember. I'm trying to... Anyway, I recommend approval. Yeah, that green's at like 522 feet. The house itself is up here at 526, 535. 15, 20 feet above. You probably not can see much. Yeah. Okay, approved. Yep. Ken, which one? 99 Pizarro. Okay, this is a spec home. <clears throat> um, Holloman, is that how you pronounce it? Mm -hmm. Holloman, the contractor. <clears throat> and it's uh, landscape. I talked with the contractor, landscape contractor, who is a foster. Um, he knew quite a few of you in here. And uh, mm -hmm. I sent photos. There are, uh, there's one layout that uh, has grass sod, um, 
trees and so forth. It, it's on the, it uh, backs up to the Isabella golf course. Um, so and I have no problem with it because it meets okay. the oh. expectations. It looks like he's going to exceed what we usually. Yeah, it actually kind of does. <laughs> There's quite a bit of organic on that drawing. Yeah. Pretty raw. I recommend approval. Uh, we got a question. Yes. Do, do the new, does anybody know if the new covenants uh, address how we handle drainage? Because it looks like uh, he's basically having all the drainage go off the property and onto the golf course. And um, I'm, I'm just a little bit concerned that the golf course at that point in time is capable of handling what he's going to uh, storm off it. It doesn't, but our other ones doesn't either. We, we yeah. typically don't deal with drainage much other than to um, alert them that if you see that there's a concern that they're addressing it. Well, what I've seen on other places is that uh, the golf course, even though you're allowed to get this drainage off of your property, they like to see it go parallel as close to your property as possible and not just come straight out onto the golf course. because. I don't know what effect it's going to have there. And does anybody approve this is what I'm really... Yeah, I think it's good that you're pointing it out. So I, uh, to me, uh, we should alert the golf course that they need to go by and take a look at it. If they need to do some ditching on their side or make any recommendations. You're right. We have many, many instances where landscaping has affected the golf course in, in a negative way by actually diverting water onto the golf course and creating real problems. So I'll let them know. This is, uh, this is I mean, they're not dramatically changing the natural slopes. No. This is where the water was going beforehand. Yeah, it well, like it was, a lot of it's natural surrounding it, the It perimeter. was always draining that way. Yeah, well, it was penetrating. Now it's being channeled, is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, it's obvious. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good to, to point it out. Yeah. When you notice a potential problem, then definitely let it know. Okay. Other than that, it looks great. Uh, you're All right. Approval. Cool. The last one is mine. This is uh, a warehouse. Um, everything is, you all know where the warehouses are right across from Lutheran Church. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. It's interior to almost everything that exists. Is this yours, Tucker? Is this yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this is essentially a double. Yeah, it's uh, a 50 by 100. 50 by 100. So. Um, you know, we've got plans like crazy. Everything is easy. Um, I see nothing that concerns us with one minor question. <laughs> Steph, that's the, that number? Uh -huh. this, uh, What's that? This is a 5,000 square foot building? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked about that. Tucker that, actually talked about it. That, I figured you all had gone through that. That was my only question. Yeah, we and, and Tucker was right. I, I, at some point or another, the, the word heated square feet got dropped off that commercial application. And okay. we, we only charge for additional square feet heated beyond the 1,000. So that's, that's it, the it was. Feet. It just struck me, and I had to ask. So otherwise, I recommend it. It's easy. It's on the back side, right? It's, it's inside. Three yeah, existing you buildings. Going up a little bit, you can see ponds. Yeah, the ponds, ponds is on the bottom. No, the other one. Yeah, that's ponds. There. Yeah. Yeah. Then the two buildings to the left and all those to the left are built, and there's one far one to the right at the top that's built. The other are proposed, and actually won't yeah. be that. They will not even be this weathered. This one's built, there. right? This Pardon? One's, this one's built. You can see where my thing is going up here on the top right? I can't yeah, see it, but yeah. That one's built, I and think. these are built right here, yeah. Good. The new, the new covenant, or not the new, the old covenants. <laughs> Whatever. You know. The old covenants uh, <clears throat> state under under zoning uh, structures upon lots designated as commercial <coughs> upon recorded subdivision plat shall be entirely controlled <coughs> as to kind, shape, height, materials, etc. Whatever that means <coughs> by the ACC. Uh, did, did we look at it from that point of view? And what point of view is that? <laughs> it's pretty general. It, it, it's an identical building to the other, other seven. Ones. Oh, that's a good start. So, 
Yeah. And it's on the back so we don't have the problem of people constantly complaining about the view from ponds. Is, does anybody have a feeling for what et cetera means? <laughs> Anything we want it to mean? Yep. <laughs> and that's that's the nice okay. thing about those. I will say that is, it it, can be you're right, because it is the same building he's been building. It's yeah. not different. It's and the same thing. The only complaint we've had to this group and to Miles at all has been the view from the roadway, yeah. if you can see it. Like, I can't so, fix that. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Other than John Froney right. mentioned that. I can build a wall. Well, some big well, bushes or something. Yeah, bring it up. Well, you got to have an application <laughs> first. <laughs> okay. So we've got to vote? <laughs> okay, vote. Well, I will not pull it for the extension. Go against it. Dwayne, you said that that was the last one. Was that the la just the last one for you? Because I still have two here. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm at the bottom of my page. I just didn't see it. Okay. 162 Castano. Sorry. Is that the next one? Okay, mine is uh, 162 C uh, Castano Drive. Sorry. Yeah. This is a, uh, looks like they tried to play with CAD drawing for a little bit. It's a uh, 12 width, foot width and 44 length. <laughs> uh, they're putting addition on the uh, <clears throat> deck. Okay. The last page of uh, or second to last page, Steph. Or excuse me, third to last page. There we go. Keep going. Right there. Okay. The proposed deck is right there where the slash marks are. Now, on my pictures, they've got uh, the <coughs> deck layout. You uh, have white photographs. Paint. Yeah, photographs. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I did it again. I think you had multiple. Yeah, there it is. Okay. What they're going to do is right there, that corner there okay. on the bottom, okay. is going to go to the right, 44 feet. Now, okay. the grinder, there's plenty of room on the grinder. Uh, the one thing they do have and it needs to be mentioned is uh, taking special care of their clean out. You got the clean out five feet outside of the building, and you can see the clean out. We just got to be careful if it's not to destroy it. Um, I would move to uh, approve it with stipulation. Everything has to follow according to uh, building code. Well, that's so it's not automatic. <laughs> but they're doing it themselves. A contractor's not doing the work. Still, but we're still going to inspect it. Right. Yeah. But. So it goes out, it's not done right. It's yes, sir. It's torn yeah. out and they start over. Maybe um, just make sure they realize that it, there's exactly. code to do that. Yeah. I, I missed the plot point. Uh, it, will the POA have access to that? Uh, yes. <clears throat> there's access to both. Going. Okay, there, there we go. go. I've got this all marked through here. Back up in here. See, there's your clean out. Way back over there is the uh, grinder. Right there is the grinder. Mm -hmm. So they have access to the strips. Access. Okay. And they have already had um, utilities located. And not anywhere near the easements. Now they're attached to the existing one, right? Correct. Correct. Do we know if the existing uh, railings meet code? They do meet code. Okay. Sounds good. I, as, as Tucker says, you know, it's just kind of common. You, know, you just give them a little bit of courtesy saying follow a code. Sure. If, all in favor? There's something wrong with it. I wish they had it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Uh, yeah, no, we did not. I didn't have it. I thought you said I want a burrito. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> <laughs> 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 Sounds good. Let's bring it in. <laughs> With Bud Light. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> 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 Did I have that last? No I don't know, but it's in the Dropbox 27 Burrito Lane. That sounds like something we did last time. What, what kind of permit? It's a, it's a fire pit and a patio? No, I did not have that. Maybe it came in after the. Yeah, it could be. No, 
Nobody's recognizing this? No, I've never no. seen it, no. Pretty cool. Are it does look good. Is it... How much was that? Is <laughs> <laughs> it emergency or anything? I don't know if we can move it to next meeting. Um, or what was the date stamp on it? Let's see if there's one. Probably came in late after. Oh. May 13th. 13th. Yeah, just it came in after cutoff. And I think the 21st. Yeah, I, I, 13th is. It's plenty weird. before the cutoff. It just needs to, we need to assign that and have somebody to look at it. I just, I just got missed. I don't know. Can we can we look at it and do it by email? Does anybody want to take it? Dan, your question. <laughs> the what? I think you we want need to do to, this email. I think we need to assign it to somebody and do it by email since it came in on the thirteenth. I don't want these people waiting two yeah. more weeks to be reviewed. No. I mean, I don't mind going to look at it, but. Yeah. What's your There's been, I mean, it it. I mean, I, I'm afraid it's got a little problem. If they're putting a three-foot retaining wall in, in the setback from the lake, that's a problem right off the bat, at least on the old right. covenants. No, was. still, that, that's in these, too. There's, there's, re, there's restrictions, and you can, it's a variance. Okay. You well, can, but it's a variance. Well, You'd have to is, do it as a is, variance. Is that an, uh, an advertising picture that yes. this is what it's going to look like? Yeah. It but doesn't it necessarily like mean that that's... Said, said three-foot retaining wall. Yeah. I, I know, but we're, we're kind of, I think, assuming that, oh, right by, beyond, on the, past the horizon is the but lake. That's the <coughs> lake. You know, we need to... They are on the lake, Let completely the, inside the setback. Let me pull that. Completely in the setback. <coughs> you know, there's been some, and there's, there's, I mean, there's not been some, there's a lot that own steeper lots where people have cut out and put up walls and had a little patio at the lake because it's so steep they wouldn't yeah, otherwise yeah, have one. And I think that's a smaller version of what they're doing here is, yeah. is trying, to get, trying to get a little flash bot for a patio down there. It definitely has some slope to this. So, and there's a bunch of them that way on Balboa, every lake out here. So probably this is a brand new home. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And this is just hasn't, you know, our because this is 2020 imagery, but it's, we might have seen it yet. That's why I recognize it because I had the brand new home. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, was that? Oh. Is, okay. This isn't the seawall thing. No, and the, and the house up to the to the right of it, it's kind of got a what used to be an, a non approved containment fence, and just down the street is a big, huge garden in the front yard. Well, since you had the house, <laughs> since, since you had the house, you could take the fire pit. Oh. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to give it to Dwayne. I was going to say, I, I took the light load this week, so I'd be fine. This is the house application that we just reviewed. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if there's a slight point there. Well, Dwayne, do you want it then? I, I don't care. I just, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Where's it at? It's on the east end. Uh, you you I take it, Dwayne. Okay. Off of El Cano and all that. Right. Um, and I Dwayne, can get it straight off Dropbox. We'll so. Remind them that um, they need to register it with the fire department okay. so they can get it on a GPS and they don't end up in the police <coughs> blotter like some oh, like Granada oh. guy did. But Tucker yeah, just brought up an interesting so point. Seven. There's a lot of these on, oh, on yeah, Balboa, like, and there's a lot of everything on yeah. Balboa. I mean, it's just. Coronado's but, got the same. But, but we don't we don't know if these are all legitimate based upon whatever. So how, 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 how do we handle it? Just because it's existing doesn't make it right. No, I'm just referring to the fact that it's hard to get a patio at the lake because of the steepness and stuff. So yeah. you have to do something like this or you just don't get a patio. And it goes back to the same the thing, thing is, I said is while ago. Is it attractive is it or not? Nice? Yeah, but yeah. is it attractive or not? <clears throat> the patio is not is not the problem. It's the wall being in the setback that's the problem. The, that's that's the variance. That's where the variance comes yeah. in. We, yeah, you and have to issue that as a variance. If you're and it. since it is a steep slope, the variance may be in order. Let me look at it. Okay. And it, I mean, and this and keep in mind, it's more than one way to get a cat. And you guys, it also says you can't build anything in the 20 foot step, setback right. unless approved. Unless approved. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right, yeah. you guys. Yeah. Unless approved. Unless approved. We have the power. 
it's amazing how much power we have in the old. It is. People That's right. And, and I more power because it's not defined. Yeah. 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 That's correct. It's called tyranny. <laughs> so long as it's not abused, it's fine. Usually, you don't use common sense yeah. and are, are consistent. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to look into that, I'll and we'll do it by email. Uh, I'll get something out um, reasonably soon. Now we got. Uh, do we do logo yet? Uh, no. Because yeah. I don't have that long. Joe, uh, uh, Ken, you're up. Yes, seventy-seven logo. This is another um, Holloman home to be. It is the lot is sloped in the back, and so it's going to be a split level house. But I have some questions on what they submitted. There, there's no real spec sheet. Um, the elevation sheets are really nice, um, but there are no spec sheets attached that talks about colors. That wasn't part of the first page of the actual permit? That's usually where the colors are. It, I, it isn't on the material you sent. Uh, the, um, okay. There's no stamp on here, so I have no idea when this was submitted. May 13th. Um, stamp right there. When you go into the, yeah, there's some new materials. I, I haven't seen that. House is brown. Um, did, you see it? I, did I pass right by it? Yeah, right I, didn't, I didn't. I don't yeah. have all of that. Yeah, well, and, and again, shingles, house color brown, gray, shingles. Gray. Okay, brown, gray. good. Because the elevation says to be determined <laughs> when it talks about materials and so forth. But hey, this. Here you go, brown with gray tones on the I'm shingles. missing all that on what was sent to me. Well, you should also get a new home cover sheet too. From, yeah, from the. Uh, POA, which uh, indicates your checklist. That's right. Do you need a copy of that? I'll well, see. Again, and, and this one came through the computer system, which is a different looking uh, piece. Then that explains this, why this I didn't get it. was submitted electronically. Mm -hmm. no? Well, <clears throat> what's the difference if you can't get what you uh, need? Keep going. Is this? Uh, yeah. This is what the hell is the difference? What is that? Yeah, that's stamped. That one is There it is. There it is. That's there. May the 12th, 13th. Yeah. Well, See, I didn't get all that. So I don't know how it, from what uh, Stephanie's showing, it looks good. But what I had, mm -hmm. I had all these questions. It just said to be determined materials and so forth on the elevation. Uh, Tried to help you with that the other day, but you didn't want any help. <laughs> With what you see up there, no, would it this blend wasn't with what the neighborhood? You asked me about this other one. Okay. The other day. So, so you, you're going to get get it now and and, and get on it, right? No, well, what they have there looks like it's cool. Have you looked at it already? Have you looked at yes, it? Yes, I've been out there. And, and, and with the elevation said, drawings that are now so up there, there is, there's nothing to look at it. And I walk down the slope okay. and yeah. so forth. And we don't so, need a light. We need to look at it. And so I recommend approval. That's what I was hoping. Based on what uh, that was for definitely uh, showing there. I got a question. Go ahead. Uh, you went you went to the neighborhood, right? Yes, and there's no that's the only quote unquote to be built in that immediate area and the, there's no house next door. Okay. So forth. Um, so the, the nearest houses, are they all brick too or? Yes, but they're way around the corner. Okay, but they're brick. Okay. They're brick. You can't see any houses from from this lot. Seven cent largo? What, how, what are we doing? 77 Largo. Yeah. There's houses on both sides of it. 77 Largo Drive. That empty lot. This is 77 Largo. Well, you should have a subway to that area. Largo is pretty 
calculated, but uh, big lots though. That's really, that lots of you know over half an acre lot. Yeah. So. It looked like they were keeping a lot of the natural. Yeah, it's steep as all can be. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's very <clears throat> steep. So there's common property behind it and the, no, and the golf course, right? It's a golf course. Oh, it's a but golf course it, lot. Yeah. It's not, you got a strip of, it looks like a strip of common and then the golf course. No, it shows common properties on the plot plan that I have. Well, that's not really, I mean, the golf course is, I don't know. That's not a golf course lot. No, it's no. not. Common property. Um, that's uh, common property. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's not golf course. Okay, so you think based on everything you've seen, we, we can improve it? Do you think yeah, we can improve so, it? All in favor? Uh, okay, did you want to talk about grinder tanks? I do, but I want to talk about eight adoration weight just real quickly. So that is another one. Do you guys know eight adoration? Oh, God, yeah. Okay. So eight, eight adoration is uh, the one that has. Let me let me let me pull it up. This is one that um, they were doing kind of a, a an interesting seawall with a sidewalk on top and boat yes. slips. Oh yes, yes. And there was a concern that the boat slips were going into common property. I've been to the property. I've met with the people. Cooper has issued a conditional <coughs> lease that they have to get it done by a certain time. So. Um, this is the property. Let me let me get this. Yeah, this has been going on for a really year long and time. And a half, yeah. two years. So. Really, really long time, actually. Uh, the neighbors really want this sucker really done, long. yeah. And we're we're kind of in a compliance issue as, at this point too, so we're trying to help them get it done quickly, help them with approvals and that sort of thing. Um, I'm up here, but give it just a second. Okay. So um, originally, they had applied for landscaping the seawall all this stuff and you can see this is a this isn't really unusual they own this lot up here and they own this so this this family owns these two pieces of property number 47 and 48 the seawall they're building is is running along you know here they they used to have a dock that came out from the from the property and now they've cut in to the setback which is where we got into trouble with needing cooper's approval and at one point, we were really concerned that it was going into this funny little sliver of common. Yeah. And it, yeah, which is a landlocked piece of common. It's very unusual. It's unusual for us to see it like that. But anyway, uh, so we determined that they were not into the to the common property. But what they wanted to do at the same time, and they're getting ready to pour concrete on the top of the seawall for the sidewalk. What they wanted to do at the same time was come off, you can see my, my mouse there, mm -hmm. you, they wanted to come off of this with a patio. And it was denied because, honestly because of landscaping calculations and so forth, and it was gonna basically be an awful, awful lot of concrete in the backyard. It was, it was you've got well, the seawall. Sea yeah. It was denied because they didn't submit a master plan. Well, they have submitted so many plans. I've yeah. got a bunch. Yeah, but stuff. they didn't submit a master plan. Well, they don't have to. Well, that was, well, that's we, what the last directive was. No, we didn't ask. We told them. Well, it was denied them. until a master plan because they were, they were, they were putting in all little different piecemeals and things weren't matching and they were changing as they were going. So, so it was asked to put a master plan. Now, whether or not that's going to get rescinded, that's another question. But I'm saying that's why. And that's why we stopped it because there was no master plan and it, and they were actually building on common property. They wanted to connect to the street and land, yada, yada, yada. And there was also a little bit of a question, in my mind at least, on whether they were in the setback on the lake. Well, they were infringing onto the, the lake. They went they, beyond so their property yeah, so line. That was the other they put stairs the into the lake. And it, there are the, stairs into the lake. This concrete the patio thing that we're now talking about was also going to be so way this out. Oh, where'd you get that? Well, we've had yeah. all kinds of stuff that we've Thank had. You, <laughs> we have had so much. For, I mean, this is back in June of 2019. This has been going on a real, and it yeah. took it took almost a year for Cooper to get back to them with the release and the conditional release is that it has to be done by October, I think, of this year. Oh wow! Um, but anyway, what they're wanting to do. The oh, well, most I, of the infrastructure is in for it. Oh, okay. All, all the seawall. It, it, it's pretty well. Uh, there, they can blow and go with it now. Well, the reason I'm coming back to you guys is because they have made the request 
So that 22 foot patio that you can see there, yep. that comes off of the house, they've got concrete people coming now to go ahead and get that sidewalk poured and they want to pour that, that patio. And we never, we never gave them approval to do that. Or maybe we denied it, I don't know. Well, somebody. did they apply for it? Right there. Yep. <laughs> it was in this plan. And it was denied, I believe because it was in the setback and because Okay. When you get over there, there I don't think we ever saw this drawing before. This is yeah, a brand never. new drawing. And, oh. and where that patio and that new roof is are three big trees. Because, see, I think this is all, I think this is John Browning's writing and stuff on here, even. But anyway, um, Everything looks different on paper than it does on when you stand in there, right? I mean, it's just. Uh, Stephanie, I don't it, think we should be reacting to their needs. <laughs> I think they ought to get their proposal in and it needs to be approved. They did a proposal. I, then, then it, well, where is it? We it's haven't right seen it. It's right there. Well, I'm showing it to you. If, if John has seen it, we have seen it. No, yeah. Uh, so, what has it been sitting around someplace? We denied it. Okay. I'm, I'm asking. They, they at had, one point they wanted to put an outdoor patio right. or patio in with an outdoor kitchen, kitchen. Right. and the outdoor kitchen was going to be going into that 20 foot setback. It was going to be too high. That I, I remember that discussion, but that drawing that was just up there, I've never seen that before, and I, I was on the committee at that point. Do you remember this drawing? You remember this one? The one above this nope. one? the pretty colored one? Nope. Nope. I don't. But I do remember that they have the covered slips. So right now well, they're not being covered. Discussed. Yes. They yes. also chopped down a tree, if you remember correctly. Yeah, you know, no, those trees are all still there. And I asked them where the trees coming down, because again, I was at their house this this, this last week. Um, the trees are all still there. Okay. And I guess the whole the whole reason I'm bringing it back to you is because they asked for a clarification on the denial of the patio. Because if they can do it, they want to do it now while they're pouring the rest of the concrete, which makes sense to me. Why would you? Oh, yeah. You don't want to. Why tear it up? Anymore? Why do it twice? You know, uh, and it's well, been, that, and again. It goes back to the, and it's been going on a really really long time. The last the last conversation I remember the patio encompassed that outdoor kitchen with raised counters and it was Stephanie you don't you don't come you don't come to uh, to, to the uh, organization or whatever when you have a concrete cr truck waiting outside asking for permission to do something that's been denied that's not the way you do it <laughs> Dan that's not the way it happened either that's not all I'm saying well that's what it sounded like right now okay well let me let me clarify it a bit better then mm -hmm. we were out there on a compliance call because they're not done, their permit's about to expire. They've, because of COVID and many other, many other things, there's a whole litany of things I'm not gonna get into because it's compliance, not permitting. But while I'm there on a compliance call, because I oversee compliance as well, and we're telling them, you need to get the concrete board, we need to get this stuff done. They said, we've got it lined up, our concrete people will be here this week. We would really love to be able to do the patio at the same time they're here. I wasn't there about a patio. I was there to help them move on <coughs> with this, get this seawall done. And getting the thing, I mean, it's, it's a mess. The neighbors are very unhappy. And so while I was having that conversation, they said, we would really like to have had that patio. We want to do the patio at the same time. And they did submit it. I mean, I, you know, it was. It was in. We approved that sidewalk months ago for on top of. It's been approved. They have a permit for it. Yeah, but it's I know, about to we expire. That. And then she, when, when she came in, she also wanted, she talked about wanting to put a railing, a fence, on top of that sidewalk all around the seawall. And when Dan and I went out, we saw PVC sleeves going down into the ground, which would allow for a fence to be put up. And we told her, no, we were not going to approve that. Um, but those, con those, those PVC sleeves could also 
accommodate lighting if she wanted to put lighting in around it. The very yeah, they, they said it was for a fence, but they, I, I, they I, got a slew of grandchildren, I think, and yeah, they, they want to put I'm a like, Well, I have seawall and grandkids too. And well, I'm just saying what they said. I know, but you know, nobody else has that for the same reasons. Those were back to some of the notes that were on the minutes from back then, John Froning and. Um, FR. But that, that says approved. You said it was denied. Those all, those say on hold, confirming, you know, release, Confirm. release, and then there was a Flip proposal release. escaping. Yes. That's that, was, that was Fritz. Oh, okay. Fritz. Thank you. That's right. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The bottom line is they're asking if we're approving or denying their patio that was on their plans. I mean, you can see it. We've got, we've got them. If some... That's what I'm asking. Based on that, mm -hmm. based on the, the setback, it would be a variance. You'd be allowing them to put the concrete patio in the in the setback. Is, it is that going to have a roof it's on it it's also? Flat. It's flat as a pancake, actually. Uh, yes. Yeah. Huh? And, and they're also asking for the roof cover? They're not actually asking for the roof cover at this time. So, they're just okay. asking to put the patio at this time. Well, we need to make sure that they... Well, that's, that's the whole master plan thing. Yeah. We need to make sure that they, if we approve the patio, we are approving the concrete slab to be going in. We're not approving the cover, the cover, or the at, kitchen, or the kitchen. That it's just the slab, and we can take that. in it, that. at a later date if they want to. Come I, back and I in. think that's fair enough. The, the, yeah, they would have to come back with something that said that they want to cover it and to add anything beyond the concrete slab. That's what's going to be the, above grade. Is everything else going on it, not the slab itself? The slab will be on the grade. Okay. Everything mm -hmm. else will be higher. Have them turn them in later for that. That's Would right. that be sufficient? Uh, and, and if it was a question of too much concrete back no. there, I think that yes, there's there's a sidewalk, but that sidewalk also matches the sidewalk across the cove from them. Um, it does. And, and in looking at that, mm -hmm. I I see a lot of planting to the right of their house. There is a lot of planning. Um, Dan and I, when we went out there, we were like, whoa, that's really kind of impressive in the front with, with the, the landscaping. I think they're going to do the right thing as far as trying to make it attractive. We nope. just need to make sure that they don't go beyond the scope of what we're approving with just the concrete slab. Well, it's hard to say that when you don't know what they're going to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, are they going to put gas lines underneath the concrete in order to and then stuff up for cooking or is it going to be from the outside and they're going to run all their gas lines you know the what outside? they we haven't approved anything like that at all so that's i guess that's a question okay that i mean i mean uh getting we approved the gas was line. their landscaping their seawall and their boat slips we've approved the landscaping yeah. seawalls boat slips and the covering over the boat slips that's what we've approved do you actually have the submittal or, or the application for the sidewalk? I mean, as you, you want to pour the sidewalk at the same—I mean, not the sidewalk, but the patio. You want to pour the patio. Is there a submittal for the patio of an application? It sounds like it was there was before you turned it down. This was. But you're asking us to prevent something slide. we can't see. I think we turned it down because she had thrown in the above this was ground. This the slab portion. and the side of the house cover. So this was all this particular. One was for this concrete slab, and it says and covering. Covering. That's not on, what they're wanting to do right now. And this was they don't want to do the covering. They just want to pour the concrete slab. Well, we meet if, like I said, if we approve the slab, we need to make sure that it's stipulated that the covering is not part of this permit and project. Covering, we covering, we, sh we need to be really really careful about that. covering in the 20th. You want, you yeah. want to pour a slab, submit a, a slab? Not approve a partial. Except it's been hanging around forever. I'd like to get it out. <laughs> what I yeah, but the only reason why it's a problem is because there's a concrete truck waiting out there. And that's no, not our problem. That. It's, it's because Cooper has been slow doing their work, and then with this it COVID did take going on, with, yeah. With Cooper, the, the to be honest with you, why don't we give them a three-month extension? Well, already, I know they want to get it done. Listen, I've already done that because yeah, we had to. Yeah. <laughs> so I've done. This is like a two-year project. It's also. been going on for a really long time. 
really, really long time. And again, the urgency is that it's a mess. It's a really, really significant mess. Drive out there. It's a mess. The neighbors and the neighbors are very unhappy, and so we're very much pushing them to get done. On the compliance side, get done, and and the permit was expiring. I've extended the permit, but they still need to get done, and so. The urgency is that they've got, they're trying to accommodate us by getting done, which is why the, the concrete trucks are coming, because I'm saying, pour the concrete. <laughs> well, you know, they've got flower beds marked out for along that back side of the house that faces the lake. So the organic is coming in. Oh, we denied I, I, before because it was it. going to be above grade with what the other things that she wanted to add into it. So if we just look at it, that it's just a, a, a grade concrete slab, we need to say yay or nay to that. Well, if she wants to come back and try for her outdoor kitchen and, or wants the cover on, she has to apply again. She has to put it I, mean, I, I, would, I would agree with that. The concrete yeah. slab was on all those original drawings that we've received. I mean, they're stamped and dated. We've had them for the longest time. And she does have landscaping. She does have flower beds going in. She will be Not removing yet, some of those boxwood shrubs, yeah. but it looked like half of them were dead anyway. Well, first of all, under the, the 2014, there's really nothing that we can say other than it's opinionated, if it's opinion. So there's nothing really drastically wrong with what they're doing. It's still a variance because you're allowing yeah. construction setback, but it's okay. You can issue the variance. Yeah. To well, allow even the if you didn't issue a variance, I'm, I'm not sure that they're, they're doing anything that's that's really that would be denied. Uh, right. So, so, so just based on that, we we might be required to approve it. Now, it, the whole thing amounts to aesthetics. Uh, you know, somebody mentioned that it's going to be all concrete back there. It's going to look like a well, uh, she's got pack. she's got planting beds. Yeah, I know. Marked, so and she did a very nice job in that property. It doesn't even belong to her. It's common property. She did a lot of planting in there. So, but they just don't have a master plan. They just think about it as they're going along. Um, so under the under under this 2014, I, I don't know why we couldn't give them an okay because the only thing that we denied it on be, before. No, I we mean, just need to stipulate that it does not include, this does not encompass the above ground If you will, structure. Judge, the language I was going to suggest is patio slab is approved as a variance, but patio cover is not allowed, outdoor kitchen is not allowed. Well, would be resubmitted be, at a later date. Yeah. applied for a later Yes. Day. I want to say not allowed. Why? Why? Because it's not part of the permit. But she can reapply it. Uh, it's yes, not now it sounds like not allowed. Period. Of time. It's not a part of this permit, but in the future, if she wants to try to get a covering, then she would need to reapply. When you say not applied in the official minutes, it's 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 implied that this committee voted and they said no, you can't have it. Right, right. Okay. And We're so approving this slab. How, should, how should I approve the language? Oh, the patio I don't, only I don't with want no to have covering. this drawing made a part of it where there's a patio cover and arguably something out there. I think you say, just like you said, that you, uh, other than it's not allowed, you just say that the, the covering not, and any not, outdoor not above approved, ground. Not approved. She's not it. asking for the cover. She's not right now. So, so we, why can't But we, it's on, it's on it's the on face the right. of the so, permit. So we have to deny it somehow or, or not vote on it somehow. And give it the okay for the concrete. Call it a partial permit for the concrete slab. Whatever. You know, permit is approved for concrete slab at ground Only. level. Yeah. At this time. Yeah. Only. Period. Huh. And if she ends up constructing Period. something above ground, puts the cover on, well then it becomes a compliance, compliance. issue. Yeah. That's right. And we're 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 working with them frequently now, anyway, so we can monitor that. Now, if you're going to put a, a cover over that, I would kind of hope that they, well, I'm not going to worry Well, that's why it. I said, she that, could, that's their down the road, she can reapply <laughs> I mean, if she wants to put that additional I mean, if you're going to put footings, you should put them underneath your slab. <laughs> but anyway, that don't matter. Well, they, they could set it on the concrete, but, it, yeah. um, but she would have to come back at a later date for that. We readdress it at that point in time. But we don't speak to that in this 
request. It's just, just the, concrete. the concrete slab. So you're asking for approval of the concrete slab? Yes. We'll give approval for the concrete slab. Let's do that. And Wayne, how'd you have that uh, worded? Patio slab at ground level is approved as a variance, but patio cover is not approved. The Outdoor kitchen is not approved. Well, they're not asking for that. Just well, well, they well no, of, they are. It's they draw it in the, 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 the application. And they kind of pushed in the past on what was drawn versus what was applied for. Now, in the homeowner, does the comment refer to a specific application? You know, application. Yeah. Uh, tell me what you mean. And she was told, no, it's is it, is it referred to this application? Are we referring to this application? Right that's yes. No. a bit problematic. On the front of the Well, well, well that's, that's, that's my question. Well, they're all getting the right one. I mean, there's, there are many. So we have to. Yeah. I mean, what are, we, what are we approving is what I'm saying. It should be against the N application. So it is on that application. Okay. It's against the patio and sidewalk app. Application. There was an application for patio and sidewalk. Okay. okay. Yeah. And can you read it? June 7 of 19? 2019. No. Mm -hmm. Is that 2018 or 19? 19. Okay, I'll, I'll be quick because I know we've been here a long time. So the, the <laughs> Discussion around tanks and Tucker, help me out here. When we, we're going to talk about this, um, Leslie wanted me to bring it up in this group, and I know Jason's going to bring it up in public services to talk about our policies or our procedures surrounding when new home construction occurs. We have a fee, a public services fee, for installation of the grinder tank, <coughs> and then subsequently the POA takes on all responsibility for maintenance of that tank, etc. There's no cost later on down the road to the homeowner should the tank fail or we have to do any maintenance, whatever. We've had some requests, or at least a request, that we allow um, the builder to install their own tank uh, as long as we have specific protocols in place that have the standards of construction, that we've, I, that we've detailed the sizing, the, the way it's, you know, the whatever materials goes underneath the tank, all that kind of stuff, basically. I don't, and I'm not Probably feeds into the, the system. Yeah. Uh, but then, so the reason there would be those, you know, detailed SOPs in place for how you would how you would install the tank is because we would still be maintaining the, the maintenance. We would still be maintaining the tank once it's installed and forever. The POA doesn't make any money off installations. I mean, it's a break-even thing for us. We we it's, it costs us what it costs us to put it in. There's no revenue generation. So the question is, how does how what would this group? How would you weigh in on that um, on that practice? No, <laughs> no what? Uh, we shouldn't allow the builder to do it. I'm, I sort of disagree. I mean, we're supposed to be a, a free market enterprise. Having dictatorial, it must be done by this contractor. At, at a cost that we cannot control. Well, it's not a matter of dictatorial. It's a matter of who owns it. In other words, the they, they, put the the it. they put the tank in, and then POA does repairs in the future. If they go in to change a, an injector or a repair, and, and the whole thing starts to fall apart, who owns it? Well, you're, you're, you're right, and that's, that's the problem we have. Uh, the, the homeowner owns it. Here it's you. on their land. It's, it's they bought it, they own it. It's their product. It's not. It's That's not true. a part of our sewer system. Oh, okay, but then if the POA comes in to change the ejector system and it falls apart, the owner can say you broke it, you well, fix it. That's where I'm going to explain something to you. That okay. this, is, this is really. I've been working on this for a long time. Okay. I actually good. used to do this for Cooper. We did our own tanks. Yeah. Oh, we good. met the specs that, that was required for the POA. I was told by our attorneys that it was against antitrust laws for me to not be able to do that because you can't, a municipality or something cannot force me to buy, buy a product from them that I, that I can buy in the, in the open market and that I own. Uh, I've since done some more research. There is some restrictions out there, but I think we could work through them uh, because the pumps are, it is required to use a certain pump system. Now, several people make these systems. But I think as a POA, we definitely have 
which would dictate what the products are being used. Right, size, this, material, this, and all this, that stuff. The standards, the, the pump pressures, the, everything that we need to, to set in our system. The problem we have is that we do that and we let Tucker go install his own tank. And I use what we tell me to use. Um, now, do we want, now, but on the other end, we have actually have a fee, I think, in our structures these days, in our water sewer bill, to, that helps pay for the for the maintenance of these tanks, which is a which is a, a probably a good thing. Uh, I kind of added to this though; it's somewhat similar to having a maintenance a fee to repair our refrigerators when they go out too. But that's a different story. It's, it's, to me, it's about the same distance. So, you're, we're paying to pay. We're, we're charging the customers a fee every month, and we're giving them a service to repair, replace. We just re, we just approved 130 pumps yesterday. Most of those pumps are for repairs, not for for new houses. So there are costly dust. Now, are we making money on it? I don't know, but I'll probably find out. The problem is, though, if we get let everybody do their own tanks, who are they going to call to maintain them if we don't maintain them? Correct. Uh, that's that's yeah. tough. That's tough in itself. But I, it I've got an answer to that, but I don't like it. <laughs> uh, so does it all fall under number thirteen in the covenants with the sewer disposal? Not exactly, because that's really talking about septic systems. But, but well, you know, there's, there's but ways we can do it. It's also addressing, uh, and, you know, requirements for construction and accordance with <clears> standards <throat> and recommendations of the health department. And well, that's the thing. So, the, like, like Tucker was saying, I mean, we would not go down that road unless we had solid specs in place that they had to follow and then we would have inspections along the way just like we inspect your framing and your roofing and your whatever we would inspect the installation of the tank instead of our electrician and our construction crew going out there doing the work connecting everything they would be doing a, a contractor would be doing it without pointing at checkers though it's him it's other people but they would be doing that work and we would have layered inspections to ensure that it was being done Not properly, properly it was yeah. being connected properly, that we were okay with, again, what they bought, what they, what they installed, how they installed it, how it was connected on all that stuff, so that when we did take on that maintenance of it later, we were comfortable that it was right. done to a standard we could accept. And you wouldn't be going back out month after month fixing something. Right. Well, and you can look at it, we can go, you can go another step. There's a company in Little Rock that actually, there's a company in Little Rock that, that installs tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, they maintain tanks. They warranty the tanks for three years. From that day forward, they actually they still answer the 800 call for those tanks, and they service those tanks in, in places in Little Rock. We could actually look at something like that, and, and it wouldn't be that, that we would write the check to them. The homeowner, the builder, would write the check to them. Uh, we could still have our maintenance fee structure set up that we collect money and, and still provide that service for the community without having the personnel on staff to provide that service. We just have a checkbook on the staff to pay this company to go work on for the, to fix that product. We don't have to. We wouldn't have to uh, uh, inventory pumps. Uh, and all that has to be looked at. But well, how does that how does that fit into the HCC responsibility? It really doesn't. I don't. It know. doesn't oh, much. I. It doesn't much. Oh, really. This I is. I think they're just trying to make us all aware and so, just yeah. get into So it. if okay. if something fails on the system with with this, if we had this new company. So if something fails, would our maintenance people go out to fix it, or are the homeowners calling this company and then they send somebody out? Whichever way we wanted to set it up. I mean, but we, we're, we're not saying there's another company. That. That's not what we're talking about right now. No, no, just no. We're just, just talking about in general. We could do this completely out of the POA and still write checks that we want to do. But no, right now, what we're talking about right now, I believe we would be still maintaining them. Yeah. I think you're today. right. The, I the think question there's, we have today. There's two... Yeah. two Potential problems or concerns that I would have. One is is timing. So when you're in a construction business and you are on a schedule and you're trying to meet, you know, when it's time to install the tank, you need the tank installed. If we don't have the people and the resources at that moment that the contractor calls us, we potentially delay their work, the POA, because we don't have the staff and personnel to no. get there quickly. No, that happens. Yeah. It's happening today. Look, it if does you happen. tell your builders that you gotta give us 90 day notice to do that. They'll get used to doing that. Oh, Otherwise, they're going okay. to come the day before and say, I need a tank. Right. Okay, okay. I won't and you don't have that. to respond to that. Okay, I won't argue with that. Let me, let me just finish my thoughts. So, so one was that, that we have had in the past, maybe we don't have the right rules in place on when they have to, to request the tank, but we've, we've, had, we've held them up on occasion. 
But the second side of it is, is if we allow them to do it, we still have to inspect it. And that's really not my building inspector staff. That's really the public services folks who know the tank install, the construction folks and the okay. electricians. Right. They need to be the ones to go out there. We are limited in those staff members. They don't, we don't have them at the ready to go the minute a contractor calls and says, it's in the ground, I need it, I need it inspected so I can cover it up and I can keep moving. So there's a couple concerns I would have just about personnel and maybe just, I mean, it's just, it's just process and procedure, but we <coughs> need to work those things out. Ask Wesley how we did it. Okay, the four. Okay. Two questions. Um, and again, I kind of like this, what I'm envisioning, you'd actually do the work, but uh, I'm envisioning that with control of that schedule, a lot of these pumps will be done very, very early in the job before you're trying to work down that seven-foot easement on the side of the house with a mini track hoe. Um, some, the, the, the recent ones that have been built near me, that tank installation was done well after the house was already erected, mm. and you had, you know, it was just a pain to get in there without essentially driving over on the neighbor's property to just haul stuff in and out. The second part of that is that I think these things should be in the seven and a half foot easement. I think a lot of them already are. Most That's what the not. easement's for. Is a lot of them are. Yeah. But not all of them. But not and, all of them. And mine is a mine. Yeah, mine is. Mine uh, And we've got uh, we've got some older ones that are sitting dead center of the backyard. They're all over the place. They're all over the place. Uh, I thought we actually were moving them toward those easements to get them out of the property owner's space, but we're sort of subsequently trying to. Well, who installs the tank? How does that resolve the problem of where it's located? Whoever installs the tank can my, have it. My problem with that location is that the outside people may or may not have access, legal right to install in the seven and a half foot easement. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. That's what it's for. It's yeah. utility easement. That's a well, utility easement, and it's okay. a utility easement, so anybody, you, you and I can install something ourselves in there, utility wise. Uh, if well, the utilities can. I'm not sure contractors get exactly the same rights unless we fix it. Go ahead. Well, so. I dig. I dig all my electric lines in through them. I dig all. Put you, all my, you have to call up and get those locations uh, and all that other yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's my, my, my takes on it. One, one other thing, if you don't mind, Ruben, I'll let. Okay. I'll shut up. Uh, the positive I see in this is we get builders off our case, and also we lower our. Permit fees. That's right, it does. In half. Well, there's a bad perception in this community, and, and rightfully so. We charge the heck out of you to build a house. Yeah. That hurts us for future growth. That hurts us for the builders out here because spec builders. If I'm if I'm building a house for you and it's custom, you know, and here it is, guys, and I can do about it. If I'm building a spec, I'm competing with a hundred fifteen dollars square foot house, and I'm having to sell it for hundred and thirty. I'm not gonna do that, but where do I stop selling it? 132, 133, where does the number go to? That I can't compete in the market anymore. So, two things, perception and reality. You know, there's a perception that it's high, in reality it is, but we can take away the perception by, by cutting those tanks in half. And I mean, for sure, that's oh, the that's positive that really I see. That's not That's actually a product you're buying just like a refrigerator. That's the positive I see as well. And I mean, obviously, our my number one goal Sorry. in my, my yeah, position is to encourage development and growth and new construction. Yeah. And anything we can do to, to lessen that burden on the contractor to get them more incentivized yeah. to build here is good. The bottom us. line is you're not changing the bottom line. You're just doing a little used cars and Cost it's salesman it's shifting. Shell game, right? it, frees, <laughs> it frees up our POA staff from having to do it, that it work sound. and they can go do other things. That's true. Yeah, but if you're doing it yourself, then you know it's getting done right because you're going to be doing the maintenance so we on need it. To build a house. Right. Huh? Yeah. We, we need to build a house and make sure it's done right if we're going to do it ourselves. It's well, you got to draw a line someplace. Ron, you had something yeah. you want to say. Yeah, what our product is, the sewer is the street. Yeah. That's our line. And the water is the street. The rest is up to the homeowner. That's my I come from Illinois. <laughs> okay. uh, plumbing inspector comes when you call them and you're at their beck and call. Yeah. You know, it's, you, you, that this stays open until that come in, that person comes in there. If the state inspector has to inspect it too, you got to wait till he gets in there and inspect it. 
health department. You wait till they come in there and inspect it. It's open. You're at your beck and call. You got to make things. You got to make arrangements far enough in advance in order for them to come out there to inspect it. <clears throat> now, as far as somebody else coming in to work, there again, you guys got. There's only so many inspectors that can come out there because it has to be inspected by somebody here at the POA. If you have somebody from Little Rock or Hot Springs or wherever. You still have to make an appointment to where that person inspects it and then signs off on it. So, I mean, far as time-wise, I don't think time has anything to do with it. It has to do with the contractor stepping up and saying, hey, I need this done in two weeks. Exactly. Speaking of that, we're contracting a lot of them out right now. Or we, we do contract some on, on and off, I should say. Don't we speak need... out of term, but I know we are doing that. Who inspects them then? You guys? I well, mean, us, the BOA? Yeah, us, the BOA. their work. And it's not, you know, this wasn't a all or nothing either. It was an option for a contractor. I mean, we've got some builders who don't want to do it. I mean, I've talked to others well, that, again, I've seen a lot of people, people do it. Custom builders, for well, sure, they don't, like you I said, do custom builders thing. don't want this option. It's the folks that are building spec or in that very narrow margin in every Here, dollar count. Do you have to have a license plumber in put in the pipe they don't want it. and inspect it? Before it is inspected, because in Illinois you have to have a licensed plumber on the job, making sure all the connections are correct. Yeah, I'm sure everything's. We're, and, and I, I don't know how Arkansas works. I mean, things are different in New York, Chicago. <coughs> sure. I mean, there is a lot of things here that would never get passed in Illinois. Right. But the thing is, contractors have to understand they are working for the people. And they are doing things for the POA, and they have to understand. You want to put in this in here? It's just like laying out. Uh, you don't dig unless you have Julie, or else you pay for it. You start burying things in, you pay for it to have it dug out to get inspected again. That's just the way it is. Yeah, I don't have a problem playing until. And I, I'm a prick about that stuff. Well, I, I just wanted it brought to your attention. So, I, like I said, it's just be, it's being discussed internally within staff. It, it's being discussed at the committee level, this committee, as well as the Public Utilities Public Services Committee. Those And, Tucker, are you the liaison to that now? Public, Public Services? Service. Yeah. I so did. you'll have this conversation again? Yes. I'll have it. In fact, I think they're meeting today, though. Yes. They yeah, no, I'm not going to So officially, yeah. it doesn't it's really apply that much to us. It's not. I just wanted you just to know, and if you have sure. you know, feedback, for sure, give it to me or to her, either one, but, and we'll take it back. But it's just know that it's being discussed, and, yeah, the motivation was to, main, the main motivation is to reduce fee. Yeah. In my mm -hmm. mind, too. I mean, anything that we can do to encourage development, Incentivize people to come here and build, and the fee is a deterrent, at least what we hear from the again the spec home builder and the folks that are in that narrow margin range. They that's probably see people in Hot Springs are using it against us if they're deciding whether to build in Hot Springs or not. Yeah. <laughs> you think the Springs. builders would want to do that? Only a few of them, yeah. There's a couple, there's a couple, not all of them, though, but that's okay, it's an option. Anyway, that's all I had other than we were going to talk a little bit about uh, our responsibilities, Tucker's and mine, and, you know, I mean, um, Well, wait, I know. before you get off the subject, okay. does that mean that basically each village is going to have about a $10,000 add to their price of their house? No, 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 no. It's it should be house. elective. It's elective, and it would, the, that fee that we're charging them would come off of their fee. Correct. And they, and come, off of, come off of the permit fee. That's right. But it's, okay. It might be cheaper it's for them to do it. It the, might the be cheaper. The homeowners are still going to have to pay for it. Right. Yeah, they're, gonna, sure. they're just going to have to take care of the trail. We don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but some contractors have their own track hose or back hose yeah. or whatever they are out there, and they can some take their holes their and their lines. And they can do it themselves. I wouldn't, but some of them yeah. I mean, I'm talking about physically themselves. I'd hire them. Uh, I'm just concerned about having uh, maintained consistency throughout the village instead of leaving it up to ten different builders to do it ten different ways. You have one There's guy one way. controlling no. the whole one thing. Way they can do it. Only one yeah, way. We would yeah. we would control well, the we, process but and the. We can say it required to only be one installer. That that doesn't provide any competition. Well, it's not like you're forcing it down the throat. I mean, well, right now we are. The yeah, only way well, you can do it, do it is to buy it from the POA permit office. You need to be, the only way you can stop it is for somebody to challenge it. You can do anything you want until somebody says no. But because it is a part of our services and that we manage and maintain, 
connect to all that good stuff, we would write the spec that says you have to install it according to our spec. Right. That's how you control the quality. Yeah. And, and, and we that's usually just, that do has that. to be done. That's not no, yeah. want to. It has to be done. The maintenance right. is still going to be done by the village? Yes. Well, I don't think that's on the table right now. So no, no, not. Because but, with that maintenance goes responsibility for what's been put in because they, they don't get challenge. Which is why there would be specs and inspections mm -hmm. along the way. Yeah. Uh, okay. Once it passes those, the bill just assumes it. Okay. That's it. It's, That's what you just said. It's not it happened did. yet, but it's it's at least it's at least under consideration. So. Yeah. I have a question. You're going to call a separate meeting for discuss discussions on these potential changes, uh, or was that the board? I, I I we're not even there yet. We're, we're really, it's, it's a matter of discussion and committee okay. at staff level and... I saw it in your email and I... Yeah, I think it's to such a point that I guess we'll bring okay. back... Well, I asked early on, I think everybody was on there, if, if, if y'all, if, if this happened, if you felt better about having somebody else do it or, or that kind of answered to you guys or you want to you know, tackle it yourself as far as looking at some stuff. And we're it it seemed like the consensus... Huh? <coughs> yeah, I mean, any amendments we might need. And the oh, I thought we were still talking about the tanks. I'm confused. Sorry. No, no, yeah, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry. I think they were, you were talking about the PCs, weren't you? Yes. Oh, yeah, I okay. missed that. I'm so yeah. sorry. Uh, but, I missed that. You know, I just didn't want to. Feel, I didn't want to feel like I was trying to put the burden on the ACC to do this. But well, it's they're, job. they're the best person to do it. Well, again, I think I think you're the best person to do it. And if you weren't doing because the people were asking me, are you going to have a subcommittee? Well, I don't know. Uh, that's that's a question. I don't know. I have to ask the ACC what they want. Because I think it falls under your area or our area. Or Maybe under Dan. Well, you I know, know you want to we already talked about a group to sectioning it out with residential, commercial, and then Industrial. procedural guidelines for POA maintenance management for well, their I, properties. I, again, I'm going to tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to caution you. Uh, I don't think the board is going to vote in a bunch of guidelines for all that stuff. Uh, I didn't say that, uh, I didn't put a number on it. I'm just saying that we had already discussed sectioning it out because Harry and Harriet homeowner care about where they can put a shed or a fence. Um, and a lot of it as it's written now and everybody's upset on over 120 pages is because there's lots of charts and tables and diagrams that don't pertain to residential stuff. It's all intertwined. So we need to segment things out and then we need to, I would start with the residential because that's the majority of what we deal with. That's what the property owners are worried about. And let's go through each one. And I think Dwayne, you, you I printed off your copy. That, that was my attempt but, but, but and I, it's, it was broad. It wasn't refined. But, but I, I think it, it's, <clears throat> it's a good start it's a, a platform if we all take some time and look at what you've got put our own notes into it and then we have an open discussion about what needs what does what needs to be kept what doesn't need to be kept well first of all um, I think Tucker was, was saying that uh, uh, the board may not go for this or something like that I, I don't know that we need the board for that why do we need the board? Well, you don't. So that's what we so had. So we don't the need the board. This is our opinion. These are our guidelines. We use them yeah. as but, we feel but, fit. But the thing is that why do we need the board? The board, the board, board has to vote sorry, on and approve those. They don't have to, those. Those. They don't have well, to no, vote on anything. If, <coughs> if we call them PCs, the board has to vote on. We don't have if to. If we call, call them, them guidelines, it's our opinion. I don't think we do. It's just our opinion. Yeah, let me. Let me it's our opinion. Let me, let, me, let me say, so what we had in the past, like I said, we had a we had the protective covenants, just as you've got them today, this, this version of 2014. We had a policy that gave authorities to the ACC to do certain things, the staff to do certain things. And then we just had guidelines. We did. We had procedures. Are not board approved. The board doesn't see exactly. procedures, doesn't care about exactly. procedures. We don't need so we, what we would be doing, in effect, is probably adopting another policy to support what we're doing and then creating our procedures on the side that basically give us, like you said, the framework that's, that's for the decisions that are being made. Exactly. And I think that's the direction we go back to. And, and I've done an outline myself. I haven't seen yours, but I've done an outline myself of, of the existing, or the yesterday's version, of the things out of that that we would want to put back into some like sort of procedural I document. See, I don't want, I, I don't think, I don't want, personally, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to recreate 100 pages of stuff that makes more sense. 
But we've got three pages mm -hmm. of, of stuff that we can go by and we've already discussed our authority based on those and it's pretty dang good. We, we like you said, your little, your, 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 your uh, landscape thing you could use as a guideline. That's all, as long as it doesn't go on those three pages. I visualize those three pages growing to three and a quarter pages. Okay. When we're done. The policies and all that. I, I don't want to stick a hundred pages in front of a, a builder or anybody else and then try to figure out what the heck we can build and tell, tell them yeah. how to build a house. We don't need it. Well, if I may, what I sent around was really a cover page with about 12 pages of stuff that I absolutely right. stole from the 122 pages. Right. But it just was collapsing it. And, and, and therefore it's public it in the and all of the property owners right now, can in fact look at something. We, yeah, it's 24 an pages you've got here. And, and I even see that some I've of that could even some. be gone. I've already cut a bunch. <laughs> you know, and, and I think that this this gives good guidance to the property owners when they, well, I would like to do this. Well, but what do I do? I mean, I see that on the social media sites. What what are what are the rules? I, I don't know. How do I do this? What so but my question is I think I call it policies. If 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 we have this guidebook with the policies and somebody doesn't follow the guidebook, how does that work with enforcing with compliance? Mm -hmm. Any any <coughs> rule or regulation of the POA is enforceable. Okay. So those are just rules and regulations. Which is why it's so limited. It's you just keep not it limited and you keep the, the, the argument and everything becomes more opinionated. And uh, you can. But we would probably you do, publish. You've got to be reasonable things. about it too, but you know, you, you'll have le less conflicts to challenge uh, if you don't have any, a lot of documents. Uh, but I think wrong. Dwayne did a good job of, of pulling out, and I, I had done one too, okay. um, of, of trying to pull out what was important for Harry and Harriet to, to look at. And that's I think we need to work from that point of view. Everybody take a look at what is there, is it needed, is it not needed, is it a frivolous thing that is too nitpicky and we, we don't need it. I mean, I come from an area where there was a homeowners association. We didn't move there because of their homeowners association. You couldn't have your garage door open for more than three minutes. Exactly. Oh, um, and and there, was, there was a Karen that went around and she would well, drive around and she would call <laughs> if your garage was open too much. Um, my sister-in-law lived in a beautiful development um, in North Carolina, and she was a gardener. But if she wanted to put petunias in along her flower bed, along her sidewalk, oh no, you can only put pansies in. Well, if that's the community they that want... That is so picky, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but if that's the we community don't have that want. here, we're not that picky. Yeah, that's right. We're not. But if they, if that's the community they want, that's the community they want. They buy into it with that. In I mind. know, and that's what I tell people that complain here. Oh, we've got all these rules. They're not as bad as a whole bunch of other places, and a lot of them are zoning and coding in municipalities, townships, etc. And it, there's always there's always something. There's always a rule wherever you're going to live. And you're buying into a gated community that is an HOA slash POA. Those come with rules. If you don't want to have to abide by that, then you don't move into that type of community. That is taken into consideration when you're looking to buy a home. Can we deal with it or not? Well, uh, Tucker, are you comfortable with us going in that direction, like basically recommending a, a policy to support? Because, again, sure. we... We, we talked about landscape. Revoked the ACC policy. We put a, a policy back in place, and then we create a set of guidelines and procedures that are internal document, not a part of the protective covenants. Right. That um, well, I'm that just, help I'm us just make one decisions. person out of seven here, but I'm giving well, you where my vision would be if, you, if that's what you're asking. Uh, I mean, I look at look at the things is is maybe you just need to scratch your head for a minute. Of course, I don't know how long all of y'all have been on here, but what have you seen that's happened in the village? That, that these rules won't help, won't keep that from happening. 
and work at it from that approach. Don't go into a book and find something, well, that's good, let's put that in there. Well, it's good, but we've never used it and we never will. But it's good. <laughs> I don't want to put that in there. You know what I mean? I don't want that something not for somebody to read. Yes. Not well, one of my stupid. big yeah. things is the mailboxes. You know, that's we can't shroud mailboxes. There, there's shrouded mailboxes <laughs> here, and if it looks if brick with the brick cover around the mailbox, yeah, it's illegal. And easily. yeah, you can't have that. You can only have your mailbox in the road right of way on the four by four post or a metal post. But set that down was that way in 2014. In, in wow. Tacon, this isn't new. And well, that's a postal. And and then well, and what, no, it was an aesthetic type thing. And when I first came on the committee, or maybe it was before when I was sitting here, I questioned that because I'm like, that's commonplace in a lot of places. It's kind of common in some of the neighborhoods here, yeah. and they have brick that matches the brick of their home. It looks nice. Why do we not allow it? And the because reason, the drivers we have the reason, does a lot of damage. The today reason caused. given was <laughs> if I have to swerve to avoid an animal or another car, and I hit your mailbox <laughs> post, I'm going to damage my car. If I hit a brick shroud, it's going to cause more damage. And I'm like. If your fender's dented, whether it's a $500 dent or a $1,000 dent, they're going to replace it, the whole thing, anyway. And on the other respect, we, if it's aesthetics, well, we approve big old golf ball mailboxes. I have a big, big mouth bass mailbox on my street. And when, when we were home shopping here, I was like, well, those are kind of quaint and cute, and I was taking pictures and sending them back to my coworkers. Well, look at this. Um, but aesthetically, you know, it's whimsical, but well, it, it, here's but, what I was told, and this this predates my interaction with the ACC and PI too. But I do know it was that, that was a rule pre the 2018 Protective Covenants. That was but is that something that we really? Well, so here's what I was going to say. The because I questioned it as well, especially when we had compliance violations showing up that I was trying to deal with. It's like, well, why? I don't know. <coughs> why are we not allowing that? And what I was told is that um, it had to do with our, our neighborhood streets are more narrow than some, and we don't have curb and gutter, so there's nothing to sort of stop you. So if you are tight on a street and you're having to kind of inch over, and yes, if you you're going to the mailbox, the mailbox or, anyway, if you, you have are, to. but a big brick mailbox is going to it's wow. still going to damage your car. It's it's. It, if it's a $500 dent or a $1,000 dent in the fender, well, it's the, getting replaced. And then the other thing is because it's in road right away and whatever work the POA might be doing, they'd be taking down your brick mailbox and well, just at like your cost. Well, just like with the Cooper easement thing, you know, you, you know that it, yeah. it, upon constructing this in the road right of way, should POA road yeah. people have to come through, there is a possibility that it would have to be dismantled. Mm -hmm. So there's that... That waiver. Dis disclaimer of something. Yeah, like exactly. But it's like, that's what people look at and go, God, it's so picky. Yeah. You know? So is, is that something that we really need to have? Is it in there now? Yes. If it, if it, well, not well, not well, in the three pages. <laughs> it was in the old one. <laughs> the and but it came out of the procedural guidelines that were, yes. were the supplement to So the So it, is that something that we really pages. need to well, worry that's about? That's it, that's it, it, to me, it's extra. It's just extra padding in here. Yeah. So again, can we, you know, we address that? There, the other one was visitability. Yeah. Because somebody we changed that the last. The no, they weekend. kept it. We changed it. I thought we kept that. I mean, we changed the title because it was. Confusing. Well, visitability isn't even a word. Uh, Tucker, I'll give you a little background on the the social media site. Um, somebody was very upset about the covenants. I had to build my house to these covenants. I had to make it handicapped, and I'm like, I, I don't remember seeing that in the building stuff. So I went back through, and I couldn't find anything. And being new to the committee, I got a hold of Jack Reuter and said, do we have a covenant in, that, that requires you to have 36-inch doorways and a handicapped accessible bathroom and zero gravity entry? To, to the home. He goes, no. And I said, well, this guy swears that it's there. He goes, find out what, what the covenant number is. So I asked, and he told me, and it was 13.9, I think, or something, and it was 
visitability. It was between sewers and swimming pools or something. <laughs> and, and I'm like, it's not even a word. And it did, it was, I think there was five bullet points below it saying that it, you were required to have a handicapped bathroom. You had to have a bedroom on the main living floor that could be converted to handicapped. And I'm like, we, we can't address and, and guide and tell people what they can do inside the walls of their house. It's, I think it's a wonderful idea. And I suggest, well, then why don't we send that to the builders and say, when you're building your home <laughs> and, and you're dealing with your client, okay, this is hopefully their retirement home. This will be their last home. Like me, I'm, I hope I'm carried out of this house. I don't have to go to something else. Um, but say you retire at 58, 60, whatever, and you're, you're fit as a fiddle, and then you're in a car accident. Now you're in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Or you have a stroke out of the blue. And now you've got medical issues, and now you have a home that you just built but you can't live in it because you can't get your wheelchair through. Well, we changed so that. If, if, if it was, you know, tell the builders, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you're going to build this home. This is something you might want to consider. I can incorporate that into your plan so your home could be converted. So if you have a medical problem, on top of that, you're not having to go, oh, my God, I can't live in my house anymore. I'm going to have to move. Um, but... Did it need to be in the covenants? No. Does it need to be in the guidelines? No. It's a nice suggestion to tell the builders that they could suggest it to their, their customer. Well, so we changed it to a to try to put rules together for because uh, people don't know how, how to build their own house in, in some for some way. Yeah, well, you need to build a house this way. And builders do that all the time. I, so, I'm so, not, but I don't think it we doesn't need to be in here, no. No. Uh, no. That's a selling point if they want to make it a selling point in the house. Exactly. I mean, I thought it, I thought it was a great idea, and I actually went back through, and I'm like looking at my house, going, <laughs> I I can stay <laughs> here. You know, it was actually I didn't build it. Somebody else owned it before I bought it, but I can actually stay in my house because it does have those. <laughs> well, the way it's stated in the the way it was changed, what it was stated was that it were mobility and aging in place recommendations. It wasn't a requirement. It was a re just like we recommend okay. that you follow a plant list because they grow better here. It was a recommendation, <laughs> not a you have to. So, But it was anyway. in the covenants, and that's how people were interpreting it, that, oh, my God, it's there. I have to do it. And, but, and, and the version before and the amendment, it was kind of... It read that way. You and do we it. do we even need it in a guideline and, and procedure thing? No. It, that that takes out another paragraph that could be, you know, a quarter of a page. So our page numbers are, are you know, starting to dwindle down. It's not so overburdening and scary to people because that's what I hear. Oh, my God, there's 120 pages. No, no, it, there's only, you know, there was basically 40. You had it whittled down to 24. So, well, but, and again, I keep whittling. And, 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 and again, yeah, because I've, I've gone said, through saying, well, we don't really need that. Go to the post office and follow their rules. So, yeah, I, I mean, we can make this a lot more concise, a lot easier to follow. That's what people are going to be happy with. Well, ba basically, we're looking at this is an internal thing for the ACC. Uh, yeah, and I think if, if we all task ourselves within the next week or two to go go over what was in this the covenants that just got dumped and compare it to what Dwayne has on his guidelines because I, I he sent that out and I printed it off use that as as our our draft revision scrap scratch sheet put your own notes on it go back through the other covenants that we just threw away and say well maybe we should keep this and and have your reasonings <clears throat> there well, yeah, give an example of what, what has happened or what situation has happened that this would be helpful, not that it could happen. I don't want to put rules in here for something that could happen. That's me, I personally. I don't want to make rules for the exception. So, I mean, basically, if we require a permit for I'll just use an example, uh, a ham radio antenna. If we require a permit, then we should have some standard of, that we work through. 
if you know if we if we allow you to put a, a fence in your backyard, then we should be able to tell you: Do we allow ten foot privacy fences, or do we allow chain link wrought iron that's been you know plastic coated? Those are in our procedural oh, documents. Yeah, hopefully, you're trying to make you're trying to create something that you, that you think is pretty. Well, let them bring their own plan with what they think is pretty, and if we don't like it, we'll tell them that. But see, I, you know, I talked to you because there's the chain link fence <laughs> on the lake on here. Lake Coronado. Oh, exactly. Maybe you can. How did that happen? Because yeah, some Maybe group at some point decided it was okay. So or somebody just didn't apply for a permit. Or they got away with it. So they got away with if, if it was past ACC groups and it was very subjective and, you know, that one group said, oh, they can have the chain link fence, I'm putting my permit in for my chain link fence to go down my side property lines to the lake. I'm not going across. You know, it's going to be black. You know, why why can't I have it if Joe Blow has a silver galvanized one <laughs> a couple toes over? I would explain to you why if I, if I told you no. So you know, it's it's care. that's it that's be, where it need to be different than what he did though. That's that's <laughs> he shouldn't have got it either. That's where you know, you know I've gone out on landscape. How well I can't have a big rock up here at the entrance to my driveway. Because it's in the road right away. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. And we're sitting there going, well, that was back when, and somebody said it was okay. Well, why can't I get it? Now you can say, if it's pretty, you can let them do it. If it's not, you don't. So, you know, it's... I never have a shelly can of rock out there anyway. But if it's a big boulder, I have to see what I'm going to Well, we have had Oh, Oh, yes. Yeah, I know. Elk and bears. Now that is that whole thing that was that's yard art. Yard art. It's not landscaping. We it's don't have a telephone booth with a mannequin in it. We just don't have like any rules canoe. against it. I can tell you that yes. we have no rules against it because that's something I've thought about go, a lot. I gotta go look at that. There's good and there's tacky. <laughs> We've seen them both. There's, so. there's, one, there's, one, there's one over there. The has got a phone booth and a mannequin in it. <laughs> over, uh, right there on the street. Doctor Who. Oh, uh, have you seen it? Put a scarecrow out there. I don't know if it's still there or not. Uh, it's Doctor Who's transport. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, so we'll. What would be a bad idea for, for us to go through it and, and go through it and, and evaluate it? Does everybody have a copy of that? Did you say Stephanie? I sent it to everyone apparently or, except Stephanie. Wayne. Oh. Right. Oh. Mm -hmm. And, and, and we just we that just last use your. Can you resend it? I certainly can. <laughs> no, it was. It was, it was a, a couple. It was two ago. or three weeks ago. I mean, yeah. it, it was since our last meeting. Yeah, yeah. But, After yeah. Tucker made a, and, and the I'm email, sorry, guys, that, email, that represents it about it was sent with uh, attachments. So, and, and let's just use it as a, as a platform to start working on, put your notes on how you sorry, feel about protected it. Protected covenants. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and I, I said, I'm you know, use the use the wings as a as a platform. A starting point. To kind of put your own notes on. Look at the old stuff. Did he say he just yeah, makes more changes? If they made them in the computer, then he ought to yeah. reissue the and whole thing. Was, Let's was the, like that. original, which has recordings. Did he say he just made a bunch of changes? Look at all that ink. Look at all that paper. <laughs> 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 okay, so Dan, can we adjourn so I think we'll stop the tape? Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
presentation. Yeah. But, but let's take the next couple of weeks to go through it. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's have a motion to do uh, so adjourn. Second. Okay.